Peace to the saints. It's the big homie. The one and only. Fax Kellerman. Stephen A. P.M. Your favorite YouTuber's favorite YouTuber. Flex Luther. Malcolm Flex. Kent Drippy Jr. Stephen A. Pimp again. Just because I wanted to, you know? The crown prince of Iran, Marquette Devon Burton, the saint and the sinner. And today we have here uh, your favorite, I don't even know what to call you. Bimbo, brain dead bimbo. I'm just, I'm trying to be nice at least to start with. How are you? I'm going gotcha. I'm to I'm ease it in nice. Like how you did last time? Going to be nice. I'm going to try not to. Brain dead cocktail sober over here. I'm going to try not to. I'm going to try to let the chat eat you up. Gotcha. You know, I'm going right. to try to be civilized. And I got nothing better to do. That's right. Now, now, the first thing that's tripping me out, to be honest with you, is... Mm -hmm. Why are you so crazy to say, you know what, let me pull up on the big homie and get fried up again. Get fried up again. Again, for a second time. I don't think I got fried up. No, I think I held my own. Hold on one second. Uh, close up camera right here. <laughs> close up camera. <laughs> Tell me again, you didn't get fried up? I don't think I got fried up. Wow. For this grown ass man wow. to belittle... This person that he just met, like, oh, I don't damn. think I got fried up. Oh, no, the, the victim mode. Okay, go back here. That was crazy. Okay, so so first off, so just seriously, you, you said you didn't get fried up. No. But you're serious, though. Uh, Yeah, very serious. That's insane. I think that's your opinion. It's subjective. Like, there are some people, you know, who you, reached out to me and thought that uh -huh. you look like a complete jackass and you he's mean and you represented yourself not just he's mean. so mean no i think you represented yourself in a way that from what you know you proclaim to be like uh -huh. may not you know convey that correctly uh-huh okay i think you represent yourself in a very negative light but i mean that could uh -huh. be what you do on these platforms you, you know? know what and i'm Some really girls. interested to get into that conversation because for me, there's a differentiation between types of people. I'm not mm -hmm. going to lie to you, right? Mm -hmm. And so I got a three cents Bible. Number one, be yourself. Mm -hmm. Number two, be good to yourself. And number mm -hmm. three, be good to good people. So let's look at the oh, good gotcha. people. Be good yeah. to good people. Okay. Good people. And you get to decide who the good people are that you To me, to right? To. to me. Yeah, yeah, to me. Gotcha. So with regards to women, l let's dig into that real quick, right? Mm -hmm. What's your definition of a hoe? My definition of a hoe? Yeah. I mean, I guess it's my definition of a hoe would probably be a woman who puts herself in situations that she probably shouldn't have. I wouldn't think a hoe is someone who's sleeping around. That's on not only a fans. You said uh, that I, is I, not I think, a hoe. I think she could maybe be a hoe, but like, I would say more so like, hey, you know, this man is married, you know, this man has a girlfriend and you're inserting yourself in this situation. I okay. would consider that more of a hoe. Uh -huh. If a woman's single, it's not something that I agree with sleeping around. Okay. You don't I, agree with sleeping I don't, around. I don't, I don't think, you're not down. I don't think casual sex is beneficial to women. I don't think it benefits women. Why is that? Uh, I think men and women, I think we're different. I think. Yeah, yeah, think for sure. Women, <laughs> 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 obviously. Yeah. Um, I don't think it. It's just not in women's best interest to sleep around. Um, okay. Did you tell us how many bodies you had? I didn't say how many bodies I had, no. Oh, you did But it's it's one hand. So. Uh, uh, bring the motherfucking close-up camera again. <laughs> this guy. She said the bodies are on one hand. Uh, is it a normal human hand or a mutant hand? It is how many normal. fingers are on the hand? How many fingers are on that hand? Five. Less than five. You just gonna look me in my eyes and, and lie to me like that? No. That's amazing. No, I'm not. Uh, amazing. And the people that know me know they know I'm telling the truth. They know that's how I really feel. How do they know? They Um, I mean Okay, so let me that? just do some math real quick. Yeah. Just let me just break down the lies real quick. Okay. Break down the lies, yeah. Uh, and then we're gonna get into this. So you're currently twenty eight. Yes. When'd you lose your virginity, when if you was, don't mind? When I was twenty five. We'll talk about that offline because I know what that's about. I've had this situation before. I actually know what that means. Gotcha. So we'll, I'm not even going to get into that right now. Okay. But just know that I know why that is. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. So if you theoretically lost your Virginia at 25 and then you are now 28, I can understand how that, that adds up. Yeah. But that's sus as hell, but we're not going to discuss that why right now. Why is that sus? You know why that's sus. Why Anyways, is that sus? Uh, let's go ahead and take a pause for the cause and we're going to really get into this. Uh, Major cap. Uh, go ahead. 25? 
We Stop have this. David sent fifty dollars on PayPal. Baller alert! He says tuition for the big homie. Hope In a real all way. is well, Saint. Found your new segment on Rumble. Very insightful, along with a certain sh speech. Yeah, yeah. He can. We can't say that on here. I'm learning things from you every time I watch. Shout out from Czechia. Peace to the Saints. Shout out to the Saints in Europe. Yeah. By the way, I do. I do the news. We are offering value out here. Carry on. We have T came in on Cash App. He came back to back. In a real way. Mick said, thanks for the work. Please cook. Oh, yes, sir. And we're, we're going to do a lot of reviewing because I'm impressed at your perspective. You know, you kind of like this one boxer named uh, Adrian, what's, uh, Adrian Bronner. Bronner. Uh, this motherfucker will lose a boxing match. And then afterward, they're like, Adrian, how do you feel like you did? He's like, man, I don't know what the judges were thinking. I was, I knocked him out. And we're like, Adrian, that, that did not happen. I don't know where you were. Mm -hmm. You might have CTE because yeah. that's very inaccurate, sir. Yeah. yeah. So I think, I don't know if you had CTE. Did you ever play football or anything? I didn't play any uh, contact no sports. sports. No, That's no crazy. physical contact. Okay. I did play sports, but not football. I like the confidence, though. Yeah. It's amazing. It's off the... I off the don't think... I don't think I got bodied. I think... Did you come at me? Did you probably, you know, kind of punk me, you know, in your terms? You know, to you, uh -huh. did some people think you pro pro probably punked me? Yes. Was I caught off guard? Yes. Okay. Um... But I do think I stood my ground. Oh, no, you're, there, there you're are, tough. I'm going to give you that. There are, like, points that I did miss. Like, afterwards, I was like, fuck, you know, I should have told him that. You was watching that shit but on I don't replay? Think, no, I didn't Uber. watch it. I haven't watched it, no. You was on, in Uber on your way back oh, home, no. just watching that shit I went, I fell asleep on the way home. No, All that right. shit did not, like... That shit like doesn't bother me. What you okay. think about me doesn't affect me at all. Like what most people think about me, like what that people doesn't think bother me. About what people think about doesn't me doesn't bother you. Know it what? Doesn't bother me. I believe that. Yeah. I actually believe that if you're gonna do OF, you pretty much said, look, <laughs> look. Does your do your parents know you do OF? Yeah. Word. Mm. That's deep. We and it was something that. I contemplated about for a long time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think a huge reason was because of my family. I do have a very good relationship with my father. With mm -hmm the men in my family. I think that was a huge reason why it took me so long to lose my virginity, honestly. Is I, I had a lot of, I think, respect for my family. I didn't want, I'm from a very small town. And I think, you know, kind of words get around yeah, and- For sure. Like, I never wanted someone to be able to be like, oh, I fucked this dude's daughter. I've never fucked anyone from my hometown. So, like- Were they just all dirt bags? It wasn't all dirt bags, but I knew, I, my, when I lost my virginity, I was saving my virginity for the man I wanted to marry. When I did that, I thought I was going to be with this person, and it didn't work out. Uh huh. And so, then you just kept going after that. And then I got in uh, two other relationships. Yeah. Uh huh. So say right now, if you were to meet a man and you know you're compatible mm -hmm. and you guys fall in love mm -hmm. within a year, he says, "Hey, I want to get married. Would you get married?" I mean, I think maybe, you know, an engagement or something, you know, could be in the works. Okay, so sure. then you get engaged, and a year after that, he says he wants to get married. Will you get married? Sure. Okay. Then you're married. He wants to have kids straight away. Will you have kids? I would like to experience life, um, like, newlyweds before okay. having kids, I So think. then a year in after being a newlywed, he wants to have kids. Would you have kids? Possibly. Okay. So you're ready to get out these streets then? I don't think I'm in these streets. You, you Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm Dude. not. I'm not in these streets. You're I'm not. not. <laughs> You're not in these streets? No, I'm really not. I will say, like, the last time I was really, like, and I can't even say in these streets, because, uh -huh. like, what is in these streets? I think, like, like it's sleeping around. Well, you didn't like, even know what a hoe guys, is. Fucking like, guys, like, from here to here. I think just a hoe is subjective. Like, you know, what you right. think is a hoe and what I think That's is a hoe is different. That's why I asked you what you think it is, because I know what do I know. Do I think sleeping around is, is kind of hoey? Like, do I? Why do can't I, it just be what it is? Sense? Why does it have to be like kind of? Why does it have to be gray? Because I do think there. I don't believe in sleeping around. I don't think women should sleep uh -huh. around. I don't think it's beneficial to them. I think most women who want to have casual sex are going to end up on, you know, the shitty end of the sick. Like, it, uh -huh. you're going to end up feeling like shit, dude, you know, uh -huh. casually sleeping with this do guy. Do you have any homegirls who sleep around? No. Why are you thinking so damn hard? No, like, no, I just no, asked you, no. what's the square root of 953? Because, okay. Because there were some girls that I was hanging out with mm -hmm. that did engage in more of that. And I and I felt like we didn't really align. So you're saying you stopped being friends with them? Like, we're so cool. Like, uh -huh. you know, like, oh, hey, like, you know, we'll meet up. Like, you know, let's get So none of your something. current friends you would consider? My, my close-knit friends? No. I wouldn't oh, you got layers. Them. The outer layer is the hoes, but the inner layer, they're, <laughs> they're Mormons. <laughs> 
They're not Mormons. My best friend's married. Uh huh. Okay. My best friend's married. Um, one of my other really good girlfriends. I think we think pretty similarly when it comes to like casual sex. Uh, you look more Mexican today. Do I? Yeah, Why? yeah. You look more Mexican. It could be just because you told me that you were Mexican. So now I'm like, oh, I see it. What did you think I looked like? Uh, no comment. But anyways, being that what? you are Mexican, <laughs> it's the mariachi <laughs> pimping has just shown up. Yidig. Uh, uh, Mexican women love me. You heard me. Uh, anyways, uh, finish off those super chats. We're going to carry on. We have hep.com said the way you expose the dishonesty of the Slovakian woman as if you've known her for a few mm. years and then precisely recalled her country's per capita Ooh. income was truly impressive. I am still in shock. How did you know that? experience he says my prediction she is going to do a lot of talking ah. she will hear the ism but ah. will learn nothing ah. saint if you had hair you would lose it talking to her ah. to the saints that's actually how i lost it me and her go way back <laughs> <laughs> he came in he was in love with me in a past life he said right. can you ask her if she believes that she and the other we part-time porn stars make more oh more money, money than, you? I th than you i think it is i don't even need to ask her you just asked her um, I'm sure you do. When when Adolf twenty two said, You know why he's you know why I'm about to rage quit? I'm about to rage quit because everyone on this side makes more money than him. Okay, ladies, li listen, ladies. Um, I don't think I want to listen to this guy talk down on me morally, so I'm ready to go. Who's with me? Who's with me? And then he gets up and leaves by himself. Um, yeah. Anyways, when he made that statement, it was all of you young women on that side. He's saying, do you believe that any one of you or some of you make more money than I do? It's a possibility. Yes. It's a possibility. I suppose it also is a possibility that this roof would cave in. So that's a, that, that is, is a, a possibility. I suppose a, a truism. Yeah. We have Alpha Music said, peace to the saints. I want Anissa to explain two things. One, why did you side with Sodom 22? Ooh. When he left, you didn't join him. Ooh. Two, if I put your brain in a man's body, you'd be in poverty. <laughs> Do you agree with this? You're silly. Yo, yo. I, I, we really got to dig into that first part, though. Why did you side with Sodom 22? And this is really deep, though. It's not that I sided with Adam 22, oh, because I do think there are things that he does that I wouldn't do. I wouldn't do porn. I'm not doing porn. You would never do porn. No, I would not do porn. Ever. No. Ever, ever. Ever, ever. <laughs> there are other things that you can do on OnlyFans that isn't porn, and a lot of girls do do that. Do you currently I, do porn on OnlyFans, no. like solo porn? No, I don't. Is it porn if it's solo? Yeah. It's pornographic. Yeah. Actually, we shouldn't even be using this word. Brody did set us up. You're it's about too a, late now. You're about to get uh, yeah, yeah. called shadow band or oh, I already am. It's all good, though. Yeah. Um, so you're saying, I, do you consider what you do currently porn? No. Uh, hit me with that close-up camera again. How is it porn? Okay. Uh, coming, you know what I like about you? What? That you don't live on the planet Earth. So it's like you get to travel <laughs> without having a passport. It's amazing. Um, check this, this out, though. This guy's just going to be flirting with me all no, night. And, and, I already know it. In the United States of Marquetica, like, how, how is what I'm? How is what I'm doing porn? I mean, I, underst porn. I understand that OnlyFans has a negative stigma. But, I mean, there are other things you can do besides porn. You know, I think there's, L like, Let me ask you a question. You interact with fans, like, Say I have an OnlyFans, videos, right? pictures. I open up my OnlyFans, the ball head lover, right? I'm there with my meat out. You heard me? Mariachi, just slanging lumber. Whatever. Yeah, just yeah. slanging lumber. I ain't even doing nothing. I'm just naked, just yeah. swinging it. Yeah. Swinging. Mm -hmm. Okay, got videos, and I'm sending them out to all these chicks who didn't pay me $10.99 a month, yeah. right? Uh, is that pornography that I sent to them? Say it's pornography now. You wouldn't say it now. I'll I mean, tell you what the FBI like, would it's, say. It's explicit, like videos, explicit images. But it's not porn. I want to say it's porn. I mean, is it you, art? Is that is that what you you're consider, calling it? I probably wouldn't call it art either. Okay. I mean, oh, it's like, not art, but it's not porn. Be real. You what know? Is, I'm trying to get you to be real. Shit. It, I just said they're explicit images. That's what I would categorize. It explicit under. images yeah. not categorized as porn, though. Yeah. Maybe don't say the word 50 times. That's a, that's probably a good thing, too. Hey. Yeah. And I mean, you know, when you look in a Playboy magazine, I mean, is that, do you consider that porn? In fact, it was banned. Yeah, when it first came uh, uh, in America, they were banning it. They were marching against it. There I mean, were well, legislation I'm, I'm sure against it's like so it. Taboo, you know, a bunch of naked ladies. And it was this, called like... pornography. Yeah, but yeah. do you consider it pornography? Absolutely. Okay. Yes. I mean, I think that that's your prerogative that you. No, consider no, no. See, this is what happens between men and women, and today we know like the society is getting sick because people just make up definitions. 
that's the problem. Like, for example, if we say, like, what's a woman? People will be like, it's whatever you choose to be. Let's Google the definition of pornography. And let's see. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. I'm just, let's just look it up. Because you're, you're telling me it is if, if pornography. You, I have a question. If you Google the word partner, would the definition be different today than it was 15 years ago? The answer is yes, it would be different. It could be. Yeah, of Printed course. Printed or visual material containing the explicit description or display Did of you say sexual... explicit? Yeah. Okay. Uh, images? Description or display of sexual organs or activity intended Sexual to organs? Like them titties? Erotic, <laughs> rather than aesthetic or emotional feelings. Like that ass. She warned that access okay. to hardcore pornography was yeah. shaping just... By that definition, is I it guess porn? I guess by definition, yes. It is porn. porn, okay. That's fair. Are I you guess, Wait, guess, are you admitting that you're wrong? Yeah, that's fine. That's amazing. Kind of no. You're you're making progress. I admit Can, you wrong Can you call me yeah, Doctor Phil? Can you call me Doctor Phil? Just call me Doctor Phil. I, I was referring. We're making okay. progress here. Like Send her a bill. Okay, so how you're saying? Uh -huh. You know, partner. Were we saying the definition of partner? Yeah, it's it's whatever. changed because it's changed yeah. over the course of years. I was referring, like, to porn as being like a man and a woman, a woman and a man. Someone inserting something in their vagina, like right. that's porn. Right. But I guess you know by Google's definition, sure. That and Google porn. don't know shit, right? Google, I would say Google knows <laughs> quite a bit. You. Yeah, I'll mess it with you. Okay, cool. Um, so why did you side with Sodom Twenty Two? So that's the first piece of that. Why, why did, did you side with Sodom, Sodom Twenty Two? Because he he gay. No, he not gay. You think he's gay? You don't. He could be a cuck, but I don't know if he's gay. That's not gay. I don't know. Like, for example. I mean, people are into, like, some weird stuff. Say I wanted to max you out right now. He going to have to leave. She could hold the camera, but you got to leave. But, like, some people are just into, like, weird stuff. Yeah, weird like, like, stuff like it's being kind of like a, meaning like it's gay. Like, it's kind of like a hot thing to some people. Like, oh, you but know, a dude, like though? a man being there. I don't know. Like, if I was going to max you on, they're going to be, like, a live studio audience. It would have to be all women. Ideally, like, a whole yoga class or a volleyball team. Why? Okay, so what about you've never had a threesome? This is not about me. This you is about you. Had a this is about you. With another, with another man. Oh hell nah. Hell nah. Uh uh. uh no. Uh uh. Stop, 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 stop. No. Not even when you but, were. Not so even you had when a, you were like a kid. You, you had a threesome in, with two guys. No. We call that a train. If we're being honest. Yeah, choo -choo. I would probably call that a train as choo -choo. well. But no, I've never had a train ran on me. You no. never had the Amtrak. No, never had the Amtrak. Never bought no. a ticket. Never bought it's a ticket. It's called the Devil's Threesome. No, because that shit is evil. It's not right. <laughs> Honestly, it's not right. It's strange. I've never. No, I've never done that. No. Yeah. Okay, but to answer your question, uh huh. Um, it's not that I was siding with him. Like, I mean, I would side. You'd there, be backtracking like a some, mug. What, what do you mean? This, isn't this we gonna play the answering? footage. Can we cue up that footage? Go to the the share screen real quick. When we were talking about mutual. siding, okay, like, for I sure don't like that. To pick a side. Uh, I'm not, definitely. Like, I'm not, by the time oh no, you was picking a side. You got a whole table of people. Everyone's phone is off. He's giving the instructions while he's instructing, also known as giving directions. Mm -hmm. That's when you need to be at attention. See, the problem is you're a renegade, and when you're a renegade and you ain't got instructions, you're heading for destruction and that's the problem so you had your phone out when you should have been receiving instructions see the problem is i know you were really bad at this one childhood game you know what it was called what simon says because you ain't know who simon was that was a problem what the fuck is <laughs> exactly exactly i just think it's ridiculous like you know what hey i think sometimes i think i'm a very respectful person i usually follow the rules but you know uh -huh. what hey he did say, hey, if we could get your attention for that time. And in right. that moment, you know what? I took my phone out. I'm sure there are all things that, there are things that all of us do. Did you do it and long we, enough for him to call you don't, out? We all break rules. So tell me, it was, if it was. Did you do it long I enough for him to cut a heathen. call I'm, you I'm out? I'm such a terrible person. Did he call you I'm out about it? I'm such a terrible person for pulling my phone out and turning off my alarm. Why the fuck did you park in handicap yesterday? Why the <laughs> fuck did you park in handicap yesterday? This Yo, man wants to, I like this, this red herring. And listen to, to me. me G give me the close up camera. Being so disrespectful. I damn sure did park it handicap. Rules, and I tell you, you one more thing. Illegally I'm going to continue breaking that law. Now go back handicap. to that major that main camera. Check this out. 
But you want to illegally park in handicap. That's correct. People, but let's stay on topic. I, we're, we're going to address that. I'm down to go okay. into that. I am absolutely down to go into that. So let's first address what we're talking about because you pulled a distraction, which is a major tactic that women use and people losing arguments lose use. They distract you from the point at hand. No, this is what I was I, saying, love. I circled back to no, the we, question. We, you that ain't we got to circle answering. back if you never leave. Here's the we thing. Left. We started talking about something. If else. you were so quick, like, boom, let me pull it out, boom, turn off the alarm, ah, put it away. Why did Brody have time to call you out if it was that quick? There are probably some other things, yeah, that I was doing. Oh, whatever. there were probably some other things. Oh, now it comes out. I thought you just turned that alarm off. Were you watching and me some the other entire time? time? No, I was paying attention to the speaker, Nick, and I was distracted because you way. were doing the wrong thing long enough that he called you out, and you just admit that you were doing <laughs> other things, and you initially <laughs> said it was the alarm. Were you wrong? I was wrong for pulling my phone out when he... Ask for our attention. Yes. Thank you. We're listen. Yes. We're making. We're not gonna need you, that many more but sessions. But you are not right. We're gonna. To we're not gonna need that many more come sessions. Come at me. I don't. I'm, oh, you're saying I would about never take that? Yeah. <laughs> you're saying you about are that. not right to come at me uh -huh. that I'm this terrible person for doing that when you literally fucking were parking in handicap yesterday. Uh, like that's ridiculous. I was parked in the handicap. Yeah. So then, what the fuck is up with that? I feel fine about that. Okay. Like. You, I didn't come at you acting crazy. You were coming at me for this. No, nah, I feel fine reason. about it. Here's the difference. When you were doing the wrong thing, you acted like you were not doing the wrong thing. How did, how was I acting like I was not doing the wrong thing? I was just turning off my alarm. That's all I was doing. Why are you harassing me? I'm just turning off my alarm. That was your story then, but today your story is, and I did some other things. So it's like, love, which is it? You gonna crack under question. I, I can't do no dirt with her. Regardless now, of what the fuck I was doing, I was on my fucking phone. You were wrong, right? It doesn't matter. It doesn't it matter. It would have been a really short not, story if you would have just matter. said, I'm wrong. It does not matter what I was doing. Either way, you being the man mm -hmm. that you claim to be and you, you don't love even know women, what man I claim to and, be. You know, hey, women are, you know, the biggest part of this, a woman's love, you know, biggest part of this pyramid, and you love women. She's trying to get some ism today, boy. Women. I She's don't trying think, to get some ism. I don't think I like it's, that. you know, like a very, it doesn't feel like a very, like, you know, a high value man. And I know you probably don't like that I've term. I've never used the term. You never used that term, yeah. uh, for lack of a better term, you know, a man of value. Okay. To talk down to a woman like that for a mistake. It, what I did, no, what it I was, did, you, it was actually did, the best did, thing. What I did was wasn't hurtful thing to, to me. Correct you. What I did wasn't hurtful to anyone, but you parking in handicap, you took that spot away from someone <laughs> who actually fucking needed it. What about that? I love that. I'm going to address that. But real quick, you said that a high value I man. I said, okay. You said a high I value up, man I will say, okay. shouldn't. Right. I shouldn't have been on Thank my you. phone. But, but here's can the you problem. Admit, but can you admit that I was not disrespectful when he asked me to put it away? That I. Can we roll that back? What did you say? That I was rude and disrespectful. What did I, do you want to admit that you lied? No, do you, you were. Do you want to admit that you lied? You were unpleasant. What did I say? When, what did I say when he told me to put it away? So here's the point. Tell me. No, 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 here's no, 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 no. Exactly. Here's the You're point. deflecting. Here's I the know. Point. No. I, I want you, you to answer the question. Were wrong. Was I rude you and disrespectful? You denied you were wrong. Was I rude and disrespectful? And we all know that you were rude because it makes perfect sense. Was I rude and the disrespectful? Just answer this one question. I'm answering you. You're going crazy today. I need you going crazy. I like this. Listen, she didn't came in with her energy. She didn't like had a protein drink before she showed up to, to this mug. Me. Uh, she didn't have four cups of coffee. One was an espresso shot. She ready to go in. Did you pop a Molly too? Because you ready. You. I like that. You need. I know you need think, me, but you got. You I can't talk I'm, about that on camera. I think I'm That's being off camera. pretty reasonable uh -huh. and pretty calm. Like you're, yes. ask, you're asking me questions. And you know, even I wasn't asking you questions. I was trying to make a statement, but you kept interrupting me. No, we're, you know, this whole thing. We're talking. You're asking me right. questions. I'm responding. I'm not deflecting. You're not deflecting. Girl, you're talking about handicapped parking spaces. But, like, you're acting like. You're talking like, about handicapped parking spaces. Because you're and I should like get I'm one. Honestly, I need a handicapped like placard. Devil. Can somebody because get me one? I have a. Because you're acting I have like a, a hair devil disability. For making a mistake. Is alopecia I'm, a disability? Okay, I would just like you to answer. Was I rude and disrespectful when I he asked me to put the were. phone away? What did I do? I said that in the what, last what podcast. I, I want you to tell me what I did. I want you to tell everyone what I did and what I said when he asked me to put it away. Excuse me. I'm going to need you to put your phone away while I'm giving these directions. And then what here you go. Then you, here you go. <sighs> I did that. Where's the camera? I want to roll my eyes in that camera. Is I it this did one? all of that. Yeah, there we go. I was rude and disrespectful actually 
And when oh, you were rolling man. your eyes like that, I was like, man, oh, um, man, is she constipated? He called me out on it, and I was like, fuck. It makes perfect sense. I put my sense. phone away. This is all I did. For me to go, <sighs> that's, that's no, like, that's I mean, re- when you really think about it, that's if ridiculous. you're the and same honestly, person that to would be fair, Brian's not a listen pussy. to him. Brian, oh. Brian's, like, Brian's, Brian's a what? Brian's so sensitive. He's if a I what? If I would have done that, I said Brian's a puss. Brian's a pussy. If I would have done that on his podcast, he would have thrown a huge bitch fit, and he probably would have kicked me off. He wasn't there when that was happening. But if I would have done that to Nick, I'm sure Nick would have told no, Ryan. No, no, that's not how that, that works. That's think, not how that works. Men are not conditioned to complain. So if you do something dirty or foul to them, they're just generally going to take it. They're especially not going to complain about you to their boss. Well, Nick the did reason, complain to me. I mean, Nick was complaining like, hey, you have your phone out. Put your phone away. That's not a complaint. He gave you an additional direction because you needed redirection. That's not a complaint. What is like men are not conditioned to complain have to do with anything like because if I was you just said that he would have told if they invited his me boss on this whatever podcast and i was disrespectful initially like and rolling my eyes you know what right. i made a mistake i had my phone out i shouldn't have had my phone out yes but to lie and act like i was like doing that that's that's honestly ridiculous we're and not any, going to agree on that who one knows me would we're not know going to agree on that, that one be the case but we will go back to the footage and folks what we're checking for right here yeah. is the gentleman who super one second, chatted if that. you had Love. significant he asked IQ why she sided with yeah. adolf skill set you'd be able to go into the marketplace and earn a good income such that oh, you didn't gotcha. have to do that so so <laughs> adam realized he's about to be next so and bring whatever diseases back to them right like those are like you the floor because you were talking while i was talking go ahead i'm good you can say what you need to say wow. give me another so brain dead. three minutes come i do inter- <laughs> wait <laughs> speak like, english go ahead go ahead i work i work at one of the highest club highest you, like, at that point where you flamed i work at one of the best that. clubs in las vegas you seem like you're having just real quick we're gonna get to where we need to go at that point would you say you had been fried up when you start forgetting english no i mean I think I kind of talk like that sometimes. Sometimes I have to think about what I'm going to say. So you didn't feel like you was fried up when you forgot where you work at and then you started messing up the English language? Because I think it's weird to kind of throw out, like, I work at one of the highest grossing nightclubs in America. Uh-huh. Like, one of the best nightclubs. Okay. And I make a great living. And it's a great job. Okay. It's just kind of weird. I feel like sometimes, you know, when you go into a conversation, it's like, hey, you know, I'm going to have this. Like, this is what I could potentially say. Okay. I didn't expect for someone to come at me like that. So Fair I didn't enough. think that that was an insult or not an insult. I didn't think that that was something that I needed to prove. Like, oh, you're saying I'm this, you know, 304 who makes no money. And I'm like, ah, I work at a pretty good club. Like, I'm making decent money. Play. English for a second. Tell us. I'm perfectly fine with okay. my English. Go on. I'm a little riled up. Yes. I'm I a little, said that like five minutes ago. You denied it. I'm a little thrown off okay. by you attacking. I think scam I'm going to leave. Adam, and if okay, any yeah. girls want to leave, pause right here. Oh. Pause right here. This is where Adam is about to give a motherfucking motivational speech. And I want maximize me real quick. There, thank you. You quick. So she said that she did not side with Adolf 22. You, you said that, right? Does mm-hmm mean yes? Yeah. Okay. All right. For sure. Okay. Go ahead. Put that back up. We going to roll that footage and, and work with me. We might have to pause this one a few times. So Adam right. just Hold gave on. his. He's rage quitting. He's rage quitting. It's not a rage quitting. Pause it. They can't hear now. Go ahead. Maximize it. She want to interrupt the clip. Go ahead, baby. Talk to me. Are you ready? More okay, than. So. Let's just clear this up, first of all. Okay. Obviously, we did not get off to a great start. Okay. And I want to be here, you know, to clear the air. I want okay. to see your point of view. I hope you're open to seeing my point of view. Absolutely. Um, and, hey, I'm totally fine with being called out. I have no problem being wrong. Uh-huh. Like, I said, you're right. Like, I shouldn't have been on my phone. Like, that okay. was a stupid thing to do. Like, I felt like a kid in middle school. Like, right. shit, you know, being told to put their phone away. Yeah. And as a grown adult, like... That's kind of a shitty thing to do when sure. someone asks for your attention. Yes. We're making process, up. progress, yes. We need to make progress. I already, doctor, I already knew that. Dr. You Phil checking in. You didn't need to tell me that in order for me to did, understand though, that ahead. on my own. Go ahead. I brought you to justice. Um, go ahead. No, you didn't. No, I understood that. When he told me that in that moment, I was like, oh, I fucked so up. So you I were repentant in that moment? Yeah, I felt bad. Did you I say, I apologize? Uh, no, I didn't have to. I didn't did think I had to say I'm I apologize. How do you know I didn't talk to Nick after? 
Well, it wouldn't matter because I'd already called it out. It so at it that point, matter, which I it, called it, it out. It doesn't matter what you think or what you see. No, because when I call it I, out, I brought it to light. So in as much as that's the case, it you may have been prompted by what I did. But I know that Nick respected it because when I got up to go to the restaurant, he was like, bro, right there, right there, right there. Boom, pound it. Because he appreciated someone standing up for him. There's a lot of folks on the Internet that call themselves men's rights activists. But when they see an individual man in real life, they don't stand up for people appropriately. And that's what happened. It's not a big deal. Um, and that's, in fact, is not the current topic at hand. The current topic at hand, which you tried to take us away from, was were you siding with uh, Sodom, Sodomy 22? When you were saying that you didn't feel, what was the topic? What were you guys arguing about? About let's just say not, yes or no. Were you siding with Adolf Twenty Two? If I had 22? to pick a side, I'm not picking sides. I, I don't. I'm so, not saying currently. So, so when, I'm okay, saying in that moment. Can I talk? Because I don't want to talk over you. I don't want us to talk over each other. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Thank you. So when I said I wasn't siding with him, it, I meant it. That. Why are you doing that? I'm just, I'm getting my ear turned towards you so I can really hear this. Go ahead. I think I'm talking loud enough. I got my ear turned to I want to hear this. Go ahead. Okay. Are we ready to be serious? Like, I'm serious Because as hell. you don't need to be rude to me. And I'm trying to explain to you. I didn't so know that I was said, rude. When, when Damn, said, was that rude? When I said that I wasn't siding with Adam, I just meant it like, I'm not on anyone's side. I'm not team Adam. I'm not team you. Like, I'm not, you know, a Republican or a Democrat. Like, I'm not on any ha. side. Considering you could have just used yes or no. That was an amazing I said story no, and you wanted you to pull up with. the video and you wanted to say like all this stuff about I'm saying right now me when I asked you again. So your story is that you because I didn't side with because, anyone. Because I said <laughs> I already told you that in the beginning that I didn't side with anyone and you said no, give me okay. a side yes or no. So that's okay. why I had to re explain. Fair it. enough, fair enough. Okay. Roll that footage. Chris, you're not on the level He's of me or any of these guys. Guys, 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 guys hold on. Let's just let's just take a little. I pause didn't mean here. to make him rage quit. I'm done. No, 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 Adam, Adam, Adam. I just I don't want to listen to this guy anymore. Just, and I feel like I might do bad. something extreme if I were to stick hold around. On. When I first walked in, I, I said, might you have to polish fade. that milk duck. I, when I first <laughs> walked, when I saw you downstairs, I said, "Do you want the fade?" Is it a comedy? Did you know that Adam Twenty Two is legally bald? That he has uh, hair implants. Well, they, I mean, legally bald. I mean, he has yeah. hair implants, so he's not bald. Do you get what I'm saying, though? It's like a girl It's like a girl has breast implants, right? She catch beef with another girl and be like, shut up, you flat chest. You know, like, it's like, shorty, you're flat chested. You have breast implants. You're well, the same person. Well, shorty did buy titties, so then she's not really, you know, flat chested. Do you understand the irony or no? I get what you're saying, okay, but I mean, Adam play does that have footage. hair. Play that footage. She's like, I get what you say. Girl, come on, quit playing with me. said no. <sighs> okay. See what you're when I first did? walked in, I said, do you want the lot. fade? You said no. What fuck you saying? We could have took care bald. of that before the show started. <laughs> That's a stupid term. <laughs> did you, do you guys have like in some pre-existing beef or something? Listen. Can we, okay, can well, we switch Adam? When, when I came in, when I came in downstairs, the first thing I said, when I saw my... Shorty, Shorty said, can we switch... Can we switch Adam and kick this guy out? Oh, 100%. All right. Yeah. So when you say, can we switch Adam and kick this guy out? Yeah. You you weren't siding with Adam. No one wanted, no one cared to have you there. We're not asking no what, about no one. We're asking about you. We're asking about you. And just and for gonna, side note, side speak, note, you were, a back, you were a backup dancer. I understand You were a backup that. dancer. I understand I was that. a main character. I you were a backup that. dancer. I understand now, that. Who, I understand at, that with that statement, I understand that the whatever podcast siding? asks girls to come on but just quick, to exploit them and have them look stupid. At that just point, them in front of people. I understand who were you that. siding with? Adam. Okay. So if you were siding with Adam at that point, when I asked you, not even when I asked you, when the super chatter Legally asked bald, you. Being bald with papers, yeah. When the super <laughs> chatter asked you, why did you side with Adam? And you said you didn't side with Adam. Can we now say we've uncovered another lie? I'm team lie? Adam. Like, does that make everyone feel better? Jesus Christ. We're just trying to get you this to be honest like the first stupid, time. This is like a stupid conversation. We're just, just trying to get you to be honest the first time. I feel like when you're saying like, oh, you side with someone, like, that I'm agreeing with everything that they stand for and everything that they do. Why if, do you is, keep is acting not, like we don't speak the same language? What do you mean? You keep on acting like every time I say something, you're like, you don't understand what the words mean. Because your initial answer was, no, I didn't side with them. And now you're like, okay, I did side with them. Because it's like, I how feel did you like not understand the question like the first time? It's like arguing with the brick wall with you. Like, it's like, oh my God, like, why are you even 
on this top. Like it's no, like that was a, it was a, you're a acting super like chat. You're Put complaining super chat and you're up. acting like a woman right now. That's and it's this, annoying. That's what the super <laughs> chatter <annoying>. said. <laughs> I think you're getting angry. You don't like correction. I'm okay with being corrected. Yeah. But it seems like you're getting angry when we correct or we try to get closer to the truth. I think I'm a little annoyed. Okay, so why did you side with Sodom 22 when he left? You didn't join him. Why didn't you join him when he left? Because we came on this podcast for exposure. Clout, okay, uh-huh. We came on this podcast for clout. Uh-huh. You know, we traveled here. We paid for our hotels. So he said... But when he left, why didn't you join him? Because I just said right now, you because we came clout. on here for clout. Okay. We already paid for our hotels. We traveled over here. Got you. Fair we enough. We missed work. Number two. We're uh, going to fucking stick it out, okay? If I put your brain in a man's body, you would be in poverty. Do you agree with this? I don't agree with that. I'd be right there at the club, baby. <laughs> tell, tell us more. I'd be a man working more. at the club. Doing I'd be a brain dead man club. working at the club. There are a lot of uh, jobs that men have working at clubs, and they make good money. Tell me more. Tell me more. I'm I am interested. What do you mean? I've I mean, been to the club once or twice. Yeah. And when I think back to my limited experience in the clubs in Las Vegas, and I think back, how you go in, you pay your what you pay, get your VIP table, you get a couple bottles. They're bottle girls. Mm -hmm. And the only time I dealt with a male was when I was dealing with like the VIP hosts to set up the uh, table. Mm -hmm. And of all the people that I tipped, I probably tipped him the least. Mm -hmm. I'm sure people probably don't tip him in as much as like there's not always like a natural like transaction to where you're like, oh, here, keep the extra yeah. type situation. Mm -hmm. So if you would tell us if you were a male, obviously, I'm assuming you wouldn't have the OnlyFans revenue, which you say is doing well for you, right? Mm -hmm. OK, so that's out the window. Mm -hmm. So now you're a male working in the club because this is apparently your interests or skill set. So what job would you be doing as a male in the club that would have you earning as you are now? They're hosts, they're bussers, they're bartenders. Did you say bussers? Yeah. Is that like the person who cleans up? Yeah, those are the yeah the guys who like assist And they're making the good money? They make great money, yes. I can't even very, lie to you. Uh, somebody super living. chatted. She said the busters, the guys who clean up, make a very comfortable living. Now, truth be told, this is in my area of ignorance. I, I truly don't know. So someone would have to tell me. But Hi, Alpha Operator Music, RTV. there is the answer Hi, to your I question. Go ahead. So much. There is the answer to your question. And I must admit, I don't know how much busters make. I assume they don't make much. Uh, but yeah. I, I might be wrong. Ace Gohard said, you need to show that video of former Gov of Virginia, Terry, begging you like Pookie from New Jack City to bring your business to his state then boys need to know you are the real deal. Right, right. I'm not I'm not going to hit her with that, but let's just see real quick. Do you believe that that's a fact or do you believe that it's fiction that the government of a or the governor of a state was asking me to bring my corporation to his state so that they could grow some get some tax revenue? I mean, there's a video of him asking you to go, right? There's also a video of uh, someone saying that sex workers make more money than I do, like 19-year-old, 20-year-old sex workers. So there's a video of many things. So do you believe or do you not believe? I'm just curious. If there's a video, then I'm sure it's true. Okay. All right. Fair enough. <laughs> now, I just want to, I mean, you have the right to not believe. Like I'm just curious. Me to be, I mean, if someone, if the governor is like making a video asking you, then like, yeah, I'm Okay, fair okay, enough. I'm not have, doubting. <laughs> we have Go Speak ahead. Facts said the black box came today. Keep up the great work. Peace to the saints. It's Peace linked to in the, the chat. We have Carlos said, Peace to the saints. Recently told my brother about the three sentence Bible. Thank we you. both work in the education system. The business of education, not the business of educating. Mm. Thoughts on Thomas Sowell. Soul. Peace to the saints. I think Thomas Sowell is a phenomenal academic and a, a credit to the blats. And as far as people question the IQ of blacks, I think he's a good example to the contrary. Okay. We have on Cash Shop Strong 2020 said, beware the fresh can look nice, but soul rotten. Dang. Is your soul, is, is your soul rotten? No. Your soul is a, still good? I have, a, love, love, I have, have a, a lot of love in my heart. Good. What about you? Is yours rotten? Can Ryan? you be submissive to your man? Yeah. You, you believe so? I am. Okay. Yeah. And when I'm with a man, I, I believe I'm very submissive. Yes. You believe that. Okay. Yeah. I believe you believe yeah. that. No, and I, and I am. And the people I've been with, yeah. Okay. They would probably agree. And your mom and your dad are 100% Mexican. Yes. That's what's up. Go ahead. We have Joseph on Cash App said tuition. 
Teddy Fresh came in with fifty dollars. Baller alert! Said the saint is really Doctor Doom, super villain. <laughs> In a real way, low key. Teddy also came in on Super Chat and said, She is full of fallacies and she's a snitch. You do a crime uh-huh. with her, the whole organization is going down. Low oh, key, going low down. Key. Baby. She tried to rat your What's boy up? out. That was cold blooded. Your Mexican Karen was good. We that have. was crazy. I Edward, don't give a fuck. Edward said, Yo, Shorty, the only thing higher than man is God. Mm. God has given me dominion over mm. you. I would. Eat these words in the presence of Mr. Burton. Sir, I like my 304 medium. Please carry on. <laughs> yeah, bow down to your master. Yeah. <laughs> keep paying, keep praying. You, you know said, I'm you don't your got a master, money your own, baby. You know I'm your master too. No, you're they not. see you fronting, but they already know what it is. I think you already know what it is. Nah, go you ahead. Go ahead. Saying, she bull- you're secretly in love with she me. She BSing. Go See, ahead and read saying that. He's secretly in love with me. Jabrizi said such an asshole. 30 total, so I'm reading both. He said, Marquette, turn her away from the camera. A narcissist's biggest enemy is a reflection of themselves. Use the front cam to deafen at her. <laughs> okay, all right, let's swing it. Let's swing it. Let's see what we no, got. No, this is good. Yeah. I like this. <laughs> you want to keep reading them chats. You want to keep reading oh, them chats. Not even look- I'm, go I'm ahead. genuinely not even looking at the chat. Go ahead. What else we got? We have Jabrizi came back and said, I feel like a lot of Mexican women in America have zero sense of humor. If she could Word. relax and laugh, she'd look much better. She must not be the highest earning bottle girl in Vegas. Dang. She has no personalities, just defensive. Dang. Um, your boy Saint was giggling with me all day yesterday, so. Giggling, though? Word. 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 Giggling? That's Saint, crazy. Tell him. Tell them how in love with me you are. <laughs> when they turn off the camera, you become funny. It's kind of like Adolf 22. He was like, look, um, you know, just because my wife gets banged out by a bunch of big BBCs, that doesn't count because the camera's on. But when the camera's off, we're monogamous. So it's just like you. When the camera's on, like you're not funny. But when the camera's off, then you're funny. It's kind of like that. Alternative I universe. Mean, I think going into this, we were maybe going to have like more of a lighthearted conversation, you know? And I You th- don't think this is lighthearted? You lied. I wouldn't consider that. Compared to last time, this is not lighthearted. It's okay. We're not comparing. Like that was like extremely. Like, when you met and me, disrespectful. How when you, you were, met how me, you were speaking to a woman that you just met. That why you keep saying a woman? Because I am a woman. Why don't you just say Anissa? Because why are you all women? Because it you just one person. Because it wouldn't matter who you were talking to. No, I would, it does. I would no. I would feel the same it way. It, no, it would. It wouldn't matter. It no, it does matter. There's no such thing as a bitch. There's no such thing. There's such thing as a bitch, but okay, you Okay, there's know no me. such thing as a hoe. But you didn't know me. Is there any? Is there, there such is thing such as a hoe? Thing as okay. Hoes. Now, if you got but a you bitch didn't know me. and you have a hoe, but you didn't know me, and you have a woman, do you treat all three of those the same? I think, in terms of respect and how you speak to someone, I think yes. I think you all should three treat, of them, you treat them the same. I think you should treat them the same. Nah, we ain't getting down like that. You don't nah, have to. You know, you don't have like to. That. You don't nope. have to marry all of them. Yeah. You you should. You don't have to have kids with all of them. Yeah. You don't have to court all of them. No. But you think. You just go out in this world and treat everyone equally. I think you should treat everyone with respect, yes. You treat I, everyone I would treat, with equal I would levels treat of respect. The homeless, you know, druggie on the uh-huh. like on the side of the road Fair, with yeah. just as much respect yes. as I would, you know, the so CEO I'll you, of whatever company. Me too. And if I, based no, on their deeds. That, based that's on not, their deeds. That, that's not the case because so I treated you, were, you based you on you were treating me disgustingly. Uh, I observed your you deeds. Were being disgusting. I found your deeds to be disgusting. Because I was on my phone. I found when your deeds I to be disrespectful. I think you parking in a handicapped spot is incredibly disgusting. <laughs> you you're know what the sad a, thing you're, is? You're taking away a spot I have from an alopecia. actual handicapped no, person. No, I have alopecia, though. And not only is it just morally incorrect, but it's I have illegal. alopecia. It's illegal. I have It's al- illegal. Okay, I'm it telling you illegal. my disability. I'm trying to it tell is, you my it disability. It is illegal. And I think that is far. No, that is legal. What, I have a disability. What, what it's is, a disaba- what, disabled space. I have okay, alopecia. And now you're trying to deflect with. You know, I have humor. alopecia. Now you're trying to deflect with humor. So, what do you think is worse? Do you me, know what will happen? Having, what I go you, out in the sun. What do you think is worse? Me having my phone out when I wasn't I supposed to. I go out to, in the sun. Or you parking in I a handicap spot. I think these two things are completely without unre- a handicap. <laughs> just, just answer the question. They're both just unrelated. The what is worse? They're both unrelated and they have no, nothing to do with worse? each other. I want to know what's and worse. And the difference is Chat, that tell me, what is I worse? literally me taking my phone out when I'm going to do it again. I'm not saying I, I I'm going to do it. I ain't going to lie to you. I'm going to do it again. It doesn't matter to me. It's not right, but I'm going to do it again. Carrying on. You're deflecting. You no, I just told you I'm going to do it again. No, I, it's no, wrong. But, but I'm Listen, asking you, it's but, wrong, what, but what is worse? But and I'm going to do it again. But what is worse? That's just silly. No, They're unrelated. We have Montreal 702. I think what you did is worse. I you think what I did was worse? I do. I truly do. 
Absolutely. It's worse than parking in a handicapped, handicapped spot, spot when you're not yes. handicapped. Correct. Correct. And it's illegal. An illegal act. I don't care about the law. I don't care about the law. A spot away from a handicapped person. I care person? about right and wrong. You sound and like you Gavin Newsom. She like became a Democratic politician. You've parked in a handicapped spot. You have taken the spot of a handicapped person. You're obviously. Do you know that to be the case, or are you just guessing? Do you know that to be I the just, case? I'm gonna take a moment. Okay, we have Montreal seven zero two said. I second Jabrizi's comment. Also, this is like looking at a poisonous chameleon Damn. if they exist. Damn. Colorful and nice to look at, but dangerous because they will eventually poison you. Mm, mm, mm. You got that right. We have Stay far away. Tony said, wasn't your nickname from Ford the Black Bill Gates? And you Hello. almost closed a business deal that would have made you a billionaire. Hello. But I didn't happen, but it didn't happen due to COVID. If Hello. so, you're too humble. Hello. Oh, the Forbes article that he paid for. One thing I'll teach you about is if you've ever done media, when people pay for the articles, it says staff writer. Gotcha. And when it doesn't say staff writer, like if it says someone's name, mm. then that was a reporter that reported on it. So or you, you could pay, you so know, a you, reporter to, you know, do that. Nah, you, you can't. You can't. I'm, I'm aware of how this works. No, but we tell us. Continue. No, no, no. Tell us. We, we want to know. No, uh, uh-uh, we want to know. Oh, and here's another interesting thing. I wasn't on YouTube at that time. I was just in business. So what would be... what? What would I get from paying for such a thing? I don't know. You no, tell, tell us. Tell you us. Tell me. Tell us. You I'm tell asking me. you because you know. No. We you can. just said, you just suggested that I paid for news articles. What would I get? Nothing. No, really? Tell me. Yeah, I mean, you were just in business. I mean, obviously, you know, you would get whatever clout for your business to like. Do that businesses for. need clout? Uh, I would assume. I mean, you know, to drive like traction, you know, for. Do you know what buy your product? Well, I don't, I don't know what business you're in. I mean, I didn't know who you were until I saw you on the podcast. Like, okay. I've never so heard of you. So if you don't know who I am, why suggest that I paid for articles in the news? I don't know. Why make up things? I don't know. Why make up that I lied? Or why that make you up lied? that... What are you talking why about? make up that I was being disrespectful? And I truly I, viewed you as disrespectful, and that's why I, I think, spoke to you that way. I think you know that you lied, and you... I made, I, li- a, I made this face and I was being completely disrespectful. That was a lie. Ah, uh, I see. So why uh, why did it bother we me? We can continue. Okay. So let's. You know what I, I like? I just we were just. To be I was just, just like- asking you why were you making up? <laughs> why were you making up that I had a reason to pay for articles? And then you, instead of addressing that, you go back to you having your phone out when you're not supposed to. So anytime we try to hold you to one topic, you go to another topic. Are you noticing the trend? Do you notice that you do the same thing? When I try to ask you, you a again. question. Dang, you just did it again. When you I try slick. to ask you, you a slick. question. Go ahead. Because you do the same thing. I think you it's slick. only okay when you do it. But then when someone else you like slick. holds you to that same standard, okay, real you don't quick. like it. I'm going to honor you. You're okay. extremely, ask me a question. I'm going to answer You're extremely well. Ask me a question right now. I'm about to answer it. Ask me. Hit I'm me with the question. No, give me the question. Why did you lie? About what? Why did you lie and act that? And say that I was being disrespectful and I made that face and I was being rude. That why you, did you lie? So you're asking me why I said that you made a face when Nick asked you to put your phone away. Why? Yes. Why did you okay. lie about that? I did not lie. You so, lied. So I did not lie. And then when you say, why did I lie? And I quite did frankly, not lie. I'm a little so, irritated because, you know, yeah. like I came on here, like I yes. wanted to have a real conversation and I feel like you're lying Damn. Like, to try to make yourself look better. And Damn. And yesterday when we talked, yes. I feel like I respected you a lot more. And I get yes. that some things are for content, you know, in viral right. moments. And, you know, like, and you probably want to flame me. And, like, am I, I got, trying to flame you right now? And I got it. And I understand that. Am I you know? trying and to flame I, you right now? And I now. think coming on here, I understood that, you know, you could probably try to come at me. Do you think I'm and, trying to and, flame you? And I think you can, like, say whatever you want to say. But then when you start lying, like, that's just, it's just hard for me to respect Real you. Real quick, you think it's, I'm it's trying to flame me, you right it's, now? It's hard for me to respect you when I feel like you're lying. You think I'm trying and to flame I'm, you right I'm now? I'm just a little annoyed because I'm being very real with you. I hear you. Okay. And I just want you to be real with I'm me. I'm just going to ask you this question. And when you're asking me a question, I'll answer you. But when I you ask you a question too, I want you to answer me as well. You think that I'm Can trying to flame you. Can we do that? I just answered the question you asked me and now you're going off the wall. You just asked me a question. I answered the question. Now, real quick, you think I'm trying to flame you right now? I think potentially over the duration of this podcast that you could try. No, right I mean, now. You right did say. From, no, from zero to right, right now. I don't think right now you're trying to flame me. You think me. I've no. tried to flame you? No. Okay. So why are you getting so turned up like I'm eating you up right now? Because you're lying. So you're saying that I didn't look at you and observe you make a face when he said put your phone away. No, you didn't observe that. Okay, so your story is that he told you to put your phone away, which is to say he redirected you a second time, called you out, and you didn't have he any called me reaction. Out a second time. 
He called no, me out two I times? No, I said he redirected you. So you gave you two sets of directions. Direction set one. Pay attention. Listen to me. I'm going to tell you something. That's direction set one. Okay, then you said redirection singled, is as if you told me. I thought you meant okay. told me twice. Well, I'll okay. be clear. You got two sets of directions. The second set singled you out. So your story is that when he singled you out, you had no reaction to it. You were just like, oh, okay. And just yes. comply like a Girl yes. Scout with no reaction whatsoever. Yes, 100%. Partially because I okay. was embarrassed. So I'll tell you this. I'll tell you this. Facial expressions are subjective. What I believe I saw in your face was you giving it like um, contempt. You reacting contemptfully. That's what I perceived in your face. Now, it's subjective. If you feel you didn't make that face, fantastic. fantastic. You know that's not true. But we can continue because I think this right. is kind of a boring topic. Right. I agree. Hey, we have Mr. Belmont said, I once heard a quote saying women are just children with breast. Peace to the saints. Damn. On Damn. PayPal, we have none of the above said hashtag tuition. Shots of none of the above. Dr. Phil Mote activated. Questions for the guest. One, that is a very respectful gentleman for the guest. One, what caused you to join OnlyFans? I wanted. I'll answer it, money. There you go. Next question. <laughs> no, go ahead, love. I'll go. go ahead. Are you ready? Do your parents have your do what? Do your parents listen to Banda? What does that have to do with anything? I need to know if you're a real Mexican, because like I'm like wondering what's going on right now. Why? Where because I know Mexican culture and Mexicans are tough. You know, like mm -hmm. and Mexicans talk a lot of S H I T. Mm -hmm. And I feel like you you cracking under pressure. I'm not cracking. I you know what? I will say I think And it's light before, pressure, like I'm and I I'm think I will say you. before I do think I was a lot more combative. Um, I do think like you combative right now though. And yeah, I, you're okay. from a culture. And I'm saying that I was a lot like more combative. My Wasn't I talking you before? Are. And then you started talking over me. You're right. But I wanted I wanted to come in here and I wanted uh -huh. to have like a respectful conversation. Like I don't agree with everything you know, like you stand for and right. like how you handled the situation on the podcast. Right. But then when I come in and you're like already lying, and I feel Damn. like, and you're trying to like deflect when I'm asking you questions, and uh -huh. you want to act like I'm the devil for taking the my devil. phone out. But you know, you did no wrong when you did this handicap thing. And no, I, I like, told you that's and wrong. And you're, and you're but trying I'm gonna do it again. to. What's worse then? What do you mean? What I did or what you did? I answered your question. So your question would, is, would it have been okay? which one would it have is been worse? Would it have been okay I said, if I me, attacked you? Would it have been okay if I attacked you and yelled at you and came at you when I saw that you moved your handicap from there to valet? Like when you could have just valeted it? If you said, hey, Marquette, that probably wasn't the right thing to do. But was that how you approached me? Was that how you... We were on a podcast. like So remember, here's a big difference. When we were talking, we're on a podcast. But what, I, what you're I, describing... We were in a parking lot. I'm still a person. We're 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 still talking. So you but think, remember, so you think, when the camera's so on and the camera's on, off, so it's two a, different realities. So because we're on a podcast, it's an alternate it's okay, reality. It's okay to talk down. It's to an me. alternate reality. Okay, so I'm saying. So I'll because, tell you this. Because we're on the podcast, you felt that it was okay to speak to me that way. I will tell you this. I hurt your feelings. No, you didn't and, hurt my feelings. Oh God! Can we? I was just trying to. You gotta no, be but <laughs> you gotta be vulnerable and real I, with I, I, me. I'm being vulnerable. I thought I'm rude. trying to. I think it was rude as a person, but like you didn't hurt my feelings. Like, listen, continue. listen. Is if I rude? was in your position, those things being said to me would have hurt my feelings. Why? Because you would have believed them. No, because it was mean. It was very mean. It was very uh, mean. Yeah, things. I think you were trying to be and, mean, but it didn't hurt my feelings. And you were put on the spot, and everything I said had factual basis. So, like, the sword of truth is very sharp. So, it would have certainly hurt my feelings. It had a factual basis that I'm As a brain a man. dead. Like, I'm a brain no, not dead that bimbo. part. Not that part. No, th those were just insults. So those you were, were just, just you were so insult. Is that what you believe? You think I'm a brain that dead? You're brain bimbo? dead? Yeah. No, you're not brain dead. But what? <laughs> is there a butt or what? Were you just saying those things? Why are just, you she's like getting too you, happy right now? Like, I ain't even got to compliment you. I just got to remove my insults. That's good. Carry on. But, Carry on. Hit me. Okay, so the first question was, what caused you to join OnlyFans? We're still on that PayPal. You already answered it. Next question. Okay, number two is, what is the most disturbing messages you've received in OnlyFans? I'm about to be disturbed. Go ahead. Mess my head I up. King shame. Next message. No, 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 no. Give us something, though. No. All right, give us something that one of your friends heard. Nothing. No. You've never been disturbed. Because I've got messages with weirdos like, Marquette, I saw your socks. Send me your socks. I'm like, bro, wait, if, is this gay or is this <laughs> no. even qualify as gay? Like, what no, is this I don't, shit? I, don't, I, I feel like people are into different things. Like, yeah. partially, partially the reason why I was defending Adam. Like, 
If he's uh, into his wife having sex with other people, that's on him. That's like, hella I'm not... weird. But um, what's one of your kinks? Next question. <laughs> you no, know what I mean? On. You know what one of hold my kinks on. is? A man who's honest and okay, uh, treats women with respect. Games. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, so, no I'm, I'm so into that. Listen. No. Listen, Cause I, cause I do think it I'm takes, trying to slang I, this OF for you. L- work with me. Work with me. Work with me. <laughs> work with me here. Mm-hmm. Her IG is in the description. I'm trying to slang this OF. What is one of your kinks? What is one of my kinks? What? Quit repeating my question. Just tell me the answer. I don't know. I mean, you might just, just join the OF oh to my see. God. K- carrying on. Why? So you carrying can shame on. me about it? Why would I shame you? you? Word. That's how you feel? You were literally shaming me because I had my phone out. Why would I tell you what one of How my do you kinks know I'm a, are? What if I'm not a kink shamer? Why would, oh, what if I'm not a kink oh, shamer? Oh, you're just a not a real uh, follower shamer? No, I'm just a, a not, phone I, shamer. I wouldn't I'm be not following a kink shamer, the rules though. because you're against OnlyFans. Okay, listen. <laughs> so you would probably degrade me anyway. So what does it even matter? Is that your, maybe that's your king. Is your king? That is it. Her kink is being degraded. That's why you're here. You're a real freak, though. <laughs> you're a real freak. You're, Whatever. You're, no, you're a real freak. Shut for up, real, fool. for real. Okay. Go, no, I think that's his king. I think, I, what, yeah, what's your king? A, nah, Next, hell what are you into? Go ahead. Go ahead. You like when women are mean to you, huh? Next question is, when did you realize you were in love with Flex Luther? Huh. Stephen A. Pamp. Go and ahead. And then he said, also, I made a mistake by mentioning one of Mr. Burton's recent royal nicknames and one of my PayPal tuition, mm. and now I have to explain why or lose access to my account. Free Whoa. country, right? That's crazy. That's insane. On Cash App, we have Bam said, you are an inspiration saint. Keep it up. I appreciate you. And that balances out the emotional abuse that I'm taking on right now. So thank you. We have Johnny yeah, yeah, Intuition. Shout out to Johnny. Laquan said, super chat. I'm not sure if that means there's a What race the do chat. you think he is? Who? Laquan. I don't know. Oh, God damn it. Laquan, if you have a like comment, German you need to put it in the chat. Okay, go ahead. We have John said, on the pod, she spoke extensively about fear, FOMO, and manipulative men and guys betraying her. Word. Does she feel she lives her life through fear? And mm. Saint, how would you help her overcome that so she could have healthy relationships? Oh, thanks, like John that. Easton. That's so like sweet that. of you. No, that was actually really insightful. Let's Let's dig into that. And you know what? Honestly... That's why I didn't want to talk about the 25 virginity thing on camera. I said, we'll talk about that off camera because I understand that. What's the 24? Oh, okay. Right. Okay. Yeah, because I understand that. So I was like, that's not on camera stuff. Mm -hmm. And then you mentioned manipulative men many times, which is interesting because I think the manipulation concept is usually associated with a woman as opposed to the man. Okay. Um, And then you kind of alluded to males being abusive, which does occur for sure Mm -hmm. especially if you mexican like for sure Mm. um and i'm not throwing any dirt i love my mexicans i love my hymas uh but yeah so here it reads does she feel she lives through fear and we're talking about with regards to your relationships with men i think there was a point where yes i probably did live through fear Mm -hmm. i think a lot of uh relationships i saw growing up um a lot of them didn't really benefit the women. I think a lot of the women um, ended up kind of suffering because of those relationships. So I do think probably, yeah, there was a time where, you know, I was probably fearful of, you know, men. Um, I, I do think, I do agree. I do think women can be more manipulative. Mm-hmm. And like, you're right. I think it's hard for women to have friendships. And I do think it's Damn. hard for women to... If, if I'm just putting in a broader, I think men are more loyal to each other than women are loyal to each other. Like the brotherhood, you know, I, I do mm. think that seems stronger than the sisterhood. Mm. Um, and then not saying, you know, I don't have that because I do have great relationships with women. Mm. Um, but I do think men can be um, manipulative when it comes to like, if it's going to benefit them. Like how you had spoke on in the podcast about, you know, sometimes... Don't even tell the girl. You know? I thought you were about to say like how you parked in that handicap spot, but go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. And that too. Yeah, right, right. But yeah. I mean, I guess that wasn't, you know, yeah. necessarily hurtful towards anyone, but yeah. you know how you had spoken on, hey, you know, you're dating that's multiple girls. Point, like, yeah. don't tell, don't tell them. And I've seen that no, happen. No, no, I said that's the best way if you got to do it. I said, I started off saying you should be honest. And my buddy, who's now a PhD therapist, yeah said nah you gotta lie to him and i said it turns out that the women are going to behave better when they're when you sell them when that dream when they're lied to when you sell them that dream I, well, I mean, 
you okay. sell them that dream. Okay, so then isn't that manipulative? I think it depends. So I look at it in terms of uh, intentionality. Are you being malicious? Are you doing it to use the woman? Or is there any goodness in what you're doing? So for example, I'll, sometimes you have to decide on how you give out information. An example, uh, there was a time that my, one of my mother's siblings passed away. Her brother passed away. Mm -hmm. And my mother had a number of important things to do over the next 24 hours. And so I was informed that her brother had passed away, but I knew the moment I told her she was going to fall apart mm -hmm. and she was not going to be able to do anything. Mm -hmm. So as a man and as the leader, I said, I'm going to withhold this information, also known as the truth, mm -hmm. until you do what you need to do, which I know to be important in your life over the next 24 hours. And then I will tell you, and I will tell you that I decided not to tell you for 24 hours. Okay. At which point I knew she would be angry and be mad and sad, but I actually saved her whole 24 hours of being sad about something she had no control over. Mm -hmm. So as a leader, sometimes you decide who gets what information. And if you're not malicious, like I did that to help her out. If you're not malicious about it, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. But I think you're right. A lot of people can be malicious, male and female included. I do think, and I understand and I respect that. Mm -hmm. I, I'm sure you were in a, you know, it was a tough position, you know, and you just It wasn't tough at all. It was okay. easy. Yeah. Well, I think to some people, I would probably feel kind of bad and be like, you know, the right thing to do is to tell my mom, but yes. she, you know, needs to get these things done. So, I mean, maybe it wasn't hard for you, but no. maybe to some other people mm -hmm. it was. Um, but when men are in, you know, when they're dating someone and, you know, you're deciding to live a double life, you're deciding to go and do this. Because <laughs> a double agent to, <laughs> in the CIA I out mean, here. I mean, I think that's obviously their intent is not to... I'm going to hurt this person that I'm right. with, but yeah. it is selfish. It is malicious. Like it, it is hurtful to their partner. I don't know what a partner is, but it is. It is, it is hurtful to selfish, their wife. It is hurtful to their girlfriend. It's hurtful to their significant other. When you say selfish, that makes sense. And then you said malicious. Is it malicious because it's selfish or is it malicious because it's malicious? Mm. A little bit of both, I think. See, because I don't think there's anything wrong with being selfish because you do something for yourself doesn't mean you're also at the same time doing something to hurt someone else. But it is, though. If you're if you're lying about that, if you have to lie about, hey, let's say you have a girlfriend, if you have to lie mm -hmm. because you're having this relationship with someone else, like, mm -hmm. that you're being malicious. Yeah. Because, I think you, because you think it's, you know, it's not in your benefit to tell the person that you are with mm -hmm. about this other person. Might yes. not even be her benefit. But you're lying. Correct. Unless, even, unless, unless you have a situation, like you said before, yeah. hey, your girls are okay with you dating other people. But in a lot of situations, that's not the case. In a lot of relationships, that's yeah. not the case. So then I think that is malicious. And I think, you know, heartbreak, you know, people bring home diseases. People get other people pregnant. Like, I think that's... <laughs> Shout out to the blacks <laughs> and the Latinos. Okay. <laughs> I think we agree that lying is generally bad. So honesty is, bad. Is ba yes. honesty is better. I think and we I, agree there. So that's what I was talking about with men. I think men, not saying women don't lie, but I think yeah, men. Oh, yeah, I mean, lie. shit. <laughs> shit. What? I have not lied about anything. Y'all barely tell the truth. I uh, have not yeah. lied about the anything. The amazing thing is that you guys don't ever feel like you're lying when you're lying. That's the amazing part. That's what I find to be, wow. It's, it's I do think a lot of women, I do think it is hard for a lot of women to admit that they're wrong, for sure. I do think it, like. You noticed that, huh? Yeah. You seen that? That's what's up. I said that I was wrong, so I don't know. Nah, for, for sure. Go ahead. I mean, I Go can ahead. I can recognize that. I think women, it is a lot harder for us to be uh, just like reflect and just being self-aware, you know? This gentleman really shared a meaningful question. He writes, saying, how would you help her overcome that so that she could li uh, have healthy relationships? I appreciate that question. He would not help me overcome that. I do think I've taken steps to overcome that. I've gone to therapy. Um, I thought you just earlier said you'd never go to therapy. No, I never said that. No, you did say that for sure. No, I promise. Like, okay, chat. Look back, um, look back in. Never tell us, there. did she say she would never go to therapy? I'm pretty confident I heard her say no, that. I've, but... I've, had a, I've had a therapist for like the last you know, like a year and a half. Okay. Well, very When good. does she Anyways. shut up? Why the fuck are you here? Yeah. <laughs> like, Ma there's two people having a conversation. Madam. Madam. I get it. I'm not reading the chat. Okay, but like, thank it's, you. like, sometimes, like, I'm, <laughs> like, I'm just curious. Like, are you thinking before you're typing? You know what I'm saying? I hear you. Like, does that make sense? Like, do they want you. you here just, like, talking shit to me and I'm just supposed to just... 
Yes, master. Yes, saint. Like, I'm just supposed to hear you out. Can a bitch that, have an opinion? They might Can a brain dead that. bimbo have an opinion once They might in a appreciate while? that, low hey, key. Marquette, if I take this question down, it's gone because I unstart it. But okay. Oh, yeah. How would I help her? The first thing I would do is we have to talk about. Someone said she said it. I'm just. I'm okay, not going to cool. put on screen because right. I won't take this down. But Fair enough. You going to the next one? Oh, I didn't know if you were done with that one. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Hey. We have Promise. He came in on Cash App also. That was, right. This is Laquan. Dang. So he said, this is why 28 is too old. She experienced too much and thinks she knows it all. Ah. Strangely deluded confidence. Ah. I would agree. We have Mike. <laughs> we can dive into that or we can go to the next question. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. She, she, she says she agreed. Go ahead. Okay. We have Mike says something isn't adding up here. As a Mexican with Mexican parents. Uh oh, he said, as a representative of the Mexican delegation, the Mexican delegation has arrived. I, Carry on. My, as <laughs> I can confirm something went wrong in the assembly line. Dang. A real Mexican father, Damn. which she claims to have had a good relationship with, literally disowned. Dang. Why would my daddy disown me? D did you Tell have a, me. Wait, wait. Keep it real with your boy. Did you have a quinceanera? I did. Carrying on. We have I'm checking them with credentials. With all the damas though. and all the chamberlain. Wait, yeah. real quick. Do you know how to cook? I do know how to cook. What's your best dish? Um, probably like enchiladas. I've been more keto lately, though. So, like, I made like a. That's the like least Mexican a, thing I've ever heard. She said, I, I've been more keto lately. More keto. I've been lately. more keto. I've been really trying to like. You ever heard like a Mexican steak. say that in life? What is going on here? Okay, um, so your best dish is enchiladas. Probably enchiladas. Are you fluent in Spanish? No. I'm not going to I'm not going to take me being Mexican away from you, but I am increasingly suspicious. I will have another another battery of questions. Gotcha. Baller alert. Uh, can someone in the chat let us know if this is mediocre tutorials and reviews? Um, he um. said extremely intelligent line of questions for Adam 22 on whatever podcast. Much respect. Appreciate that. People um, in the chat were seeming to acknowledge that it was. OK, him, so that sure. is MTR. Yeah. MTR, we appreciate you and thank you for the uh, great review. Very objective. Appreciate it. And thanks for showing love because, you know, a lot of uh, YouTubers don't show love and you want like they react to my video. They won't tag it. They try to stay all low key. So I appreciate you being a real one. Carrying on. Okay, We have Dewan said likes a respectful man, but has an only fans. Make it make sense. There's Damn. nothing respectful about your profession. Oh, no. And that's your prerogative. I, I do think okay. some people and that was a big thing that was holding me back from um, when from starting my only fans like. You know, I think it has a very negative stigma, you know, mm -hmm. being looked at a certain way, mm -hmm. you know, it could potentially keep me, you know, from, you know, finding my future partner. He could feel some type of way about it, but. Are you bisexual? No. Okay. Um, Cause you keep saying partner, like it's strange. Partner, yeah. husband, boyfriend. Okay. I don't know. I mean, Carrying just on. a okay. person, you Fair know, enough. whoever you're with. Okay. Uh, um, have you laser removed the hair or you just shave or wax? Yeah, I'm getting laser. Oh, you didn't do it yet? Yes, I'm doing laser. You're in the process. Why? But aren't you wondering like, how did he know that? How do you know that? Okay, carrying on. Okay, on Cash App we have... What, are you talking about the chat? I don't know what you're talking about. You're talking about me. How you knew that I got lasered? Yeah, these dispensaries, there's too many dispensaries and carrying on. On Cash App, Andrew what? said... I have like pretty much every girl gets laser, so... You're getting not... it right now, right? Mm, yeah, why? What are you talking okay. about? Okay, carrying on. Andrew what said, check the Mexican card. There are Mexicans. <laughs> <laughs> He said Mexicans. Oh, he didn't just put me on something, man. Don't be putting me on that. Okay, what are you referring he said to? He said Mexicans. What are you referring to when Listen, you're saying that there's like these dispensaries? What are you talking about? Side note, though. So you're from Washington, and, what are you and talking frankly, about? Oh, before we move forward. Okay. What are you talking about when you're saying that these dispensaries? Oh, cause you like you hazy right now. Like you think I'm talking about the chat, and like I'm talking about myself. But you were saying like, how did I know about the laser? No, how did I know? I said, were you wondering how do I know that you're currently getting hair lasered? Oh, off you asked vagina? if I had laser if I shaved, and like most women, like I feel like most women in Vegas probably get laser. Okay. Like, I mean, that's a pretty common thing, right? Fine. Okay. Yeah. I wouldn't know. I don't have a lot of conversations about uh, vaginal hair, but moreover, yeah, more, um, a lot of women get it. I I've just started. I've always like there's certain things I don't trust. Like if a black person's like, I'm from Connecticut, I'm like, word, there's black people in Connecticut. Mm -hmm. Or if a Mexican person is like, I'm from Washington, I'm like, say word, there's Mexicans in Washington? Oh, there's a ton of Mexicans in Washington. It's but like, like a, normal ones? Because that's 
pretty damn far away from Mexico. It's like a it's like a big agricultural state. Like I think it's like the number one producer of like apples or hops like legit, or something. Legit Mexicans. Yeah, legit Mexicans. Yeah. Interesting. I know okay. people say like I'm an Osaba kid. Like yeah, like I don't really I don't know Spanish, but my, I'm not taking nothing away from you for that. No, and that's fine. I mean, I that's fair. If people do, want you know to what say, the corn man is? No, they look the man. You're saying corn man. The blacks call him the, the corn blacks. man. Okay, the Mexicans call him the elote man, yeah. The the blacks, he the corn man. Okay, yeah. I okay. Know, I know what you know what's crazy, is. though, and I really, I feel like I've, I'm struggling with this. I heard there's a churro man. You ever seen a churro man? Um, I think I've seen some in like LA and stuff, yeah. Motherfuckers are lying. I don't believe it. How's yeah, there a churro man? Are the churros hot? I mean, god damn it, how's there a churro man? Yeah, it's probably not that fresh. Carrying on. I don't believe there is a real churro man. On Cash App Strong 2020 is back and said Buster salary in Las Vegas is eleven dollars and twenty five cents. Damn. Them them a tips must salary? be crazy. Um, yeah, we don't really go home with a paycheck. It's all tip based. Yeah. And Laquan came back to let me know his um username on Okay. Yeah. yeah. I'm caught up. Fantastic. Great. So you do believe that you want a respectable man? Is that what you want? You want a respectable yeah, man? I would like a respectable man. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So let's And you think I wouldn't be able to find one of those with an OnlyFans? In your opinion? I never said that. I know, but I'm just asking. You're asking me questions. Yeah, yeah. I'm curious. So you like going Barbara Walters on me. I'm curious, yeah. You think you you're don't... Oprah Winfrey? I might be the okay. next one. The, the next sure. uh, Nosabo Mexican. I am tripping though, because I'm like, how are you Mexican and your name is Anissa? That was perplexing me. Um, it was just a name that my mom liked. It's kind of like being a black guy and your name is like Tyler. What's Anissa? Anissa's Arabic, so it's not even like a white name or correct. Anything. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's just a sort like in the Quran. Like I think they said it was like Anissa or like America or something. I don't know if it was like a. Hmm. Just like A names that they were thinking of. Okay. All right. Anyways, you had asked me, do I believe that you can get a respectable man? Yeah. I believe. Fans. I believe you can get a respectable man, but I don't believe that you will get a strong man. Gotcha. And I think that what is great for every woman is a strong man. Yeah. But yeah, I think, I think I that, that. No, I. I'm not saying you can't find that, and I don't think a woman needs to find. I think a woman needs to be found. Mm -hmm. But. I think that everyone has, not everyone, but many of us, yourself included, mm -hmm. have the opportunity to show the best of ourselves and have the opportunity to uh, make improvements. And so I think in your current state, I think it'd be difficult to find a respectable, strong man. You can find a respectable man, but he'll be a weak man. What would make him weak? Before I answer that, does what I'm saying, you agree or you don't agree? Um. I understand where you're coming from about, you know, I could find a respectable man. And from your point of view, mm -hmm. I guess it depends what you consider, like, what, what's a strong, strong man. Yeah, sure. So that's why I'm asking. Like, for example, uh, you might find a, an accountant. You know, he works for a um, big four firm, makes a good salary, mm -hmm. doesn't commit crimes, mm -hmm. follows the rules of gotcha. society. Um, but if someone broke into your house in the middle of the night, uh, you're both going to get duct tape and violated. You're be like, he's so soft. The robber, like, I might as well do him to turn around. Yeah. Um, whereas a strong man, they like feminine women. They like women who are um, uh, following the rules. And, um, you know, it's like gangsters don't date gangster girls. Okay. And so I think until uh, that gets cleaned up, you'll, end up with a weaker man which what cleans up my attitude or what are, what are you trying to say i think your attitude is reasonably manageable i think that you know how to bow down appropriately and i think that you know how to earn and you're reasonably tough so you're willing to go into the fire to get your outcome which is respectable but you have some major challenges one is that there's some traumas in childhood that you haven't been able to fully break down and deal with that's number one and then number two, you've had to be independent and to earn. And that calibrates a woman in a certain way. And uh, number three, if one experiences poverty as a woman or challenge or want or lack, these are things that can scar a woman. And so you deal with those three things, then you know we can make something happen. It can make what happen? I said you can make something happen, meaning like you can have whatever you want. Uh-huh. For a limited so time. there are issues because I have been able to make my own money? No. Isn't that what you said? What did you say for number two about like a woman going out and earning? 
Yes, I said it it calibrates you in a certain way. You, you become oriented in a particular way. Sometimes it might make you look at men as a source of extraction. Like, for example, if you ever were to deal with a prostitute, you know, mm-hmm. prostitutes, they spend most of their time extracting money from a man, mm-hmm. manipulating a man, making him feel a particular way so that mm-hmm. they can get something from him. Mm-hmm. And, you know, when you practice something, it's hard to turn it off, mm-hmm. right? So, like, if someone throws a punch at my face, I already know what I'm going to do because I've been practicing responding Mm -hmm. to that. Similarly, if you're in sex work, you've been practicing responding to the needs and urges and desires of a man Mm -hmm. in very specific ways that are not genuine. Mm -hmm. And so you've been creating this muscle, and you're frankly going to have to learn how to unlearn. You're going to have to untrain Mm -hmm. and change a lot in your lifestyle. I can understand where you're coming from. I think, you know, um, coming that, from Factopia. Um, I'm sure that's an issue, you know, for a lot of like people in the sex industry, like a lot of strippers, you know, I think they're probably them really, strippers bands really, that make them dance. You can't, that's, you don't know how to twerk. What's that to do with anything? No, just side note. Do you know how to twerk? Uh, I think when I get a few, fair enough, carry on. Me. I, I, I understand. Um, I completely understand where you're coming from, you know, and I think, Working in that can probably desensitize a woman, and I, and I do think that is important, like, to kind of keep that pureness in a woman. Like, not, I, I could understand how that could make her kind of hard, you know, like her shell harden. So I understand where you're coming from and how that could be detrimental, you know, to uh, my potential next relationship. Do you relationship. plan to get married? Yeah. When you get married, do you also plan to get divorced? No. Okay, so it's going to be like one and done on this? Uh, I mean, that would, you know, be the plan. Yeah, hopefully. Okay, hopefully. Okay. I mean, I'm, there are a few non-negotiables, you know. Oh, like what's that? Um, I think if we had a, if we agreed, you know, we had a monogamous relationship, like, uh-huh. and, you know. You would divorce therein. a man for cheating on you? Yes. If we, if Saints, I, go ahead, send in your questions, comments. We're winding down. Send in your questions, comments, URLs, timestamps. <laughs> we are winding down here. Hey, I think... Holy do shit. Men, do men ever consider, like, just the emotional turmoil that, like, this... Just how hurtful it really is to women when you do this, when you lie. Do you not consider that? Or is that not important because you're a man and you have needs? I'm I'm guessing you don't have an old black grandma. Do no, you? No, you I do don't. Not. Okay, let me share some game with you from an old black but, grandma. But but here, but answer my question first, and then tell me the game. I'm about to answer with this ism. But I feel like we're gonna. It's just gonna like go down this big old like rabbit hole. Okay, you know? so, so I'm just. What's your question? I already forgot the question. Damn. <laughs> They got too many dispensaries in this city. I'm telling you, it's hurting the no, youth. No, they're not. It's hurting the youth. the youth. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, yeah. Do men not consider? Think? Do men consider that? Do yeah, men- they do. That's why they try to be good at cheating and not get busted. That's why. Do they consider it every single day? I find it to be inconsiderate that a man would get busted cheating. I'm like, why? bruh, if okay. you're going to do it, be good at but it. Why? But why are you lying? Why, why not just I'm not be- lying. Why not just be open? I'm not lying. You're not lying. Right. But a lot of men are lying. And they are. And you're excusing. And I understand that. Not wanting to hurt your partner. This is the person you still sure. want to be with. Yeah. You know, you just need something on the side. Because and, you guys and, and, are so goofy that you will ruin a family over this man. Be like, damn, she thick. Okay. Book up, book up, book up. He didn't went out in 30 would seconds. You, would you not? You let 30 you seconds ruin, ruin your family. family. Would you not divorce your wife if she fucked someone else? That's radically different. Because if a woman How? sleeps with another How? guy, she is a low down, dirty piece of trash you made a commitment major difference wife. you made a commitment to your major wife you guys difference. made vows so I mean, it's not about the vows I, I, the vows mean nothing you I don't even like believe in god marriage like is a religious institution uh, okay did i say you didn't believe in god don't you're, throw that at me no don't throw that at me no, no because i never no, said that no but you made a commitment to this person vows or not yeah you made a commitment if you had an agreement a, an agreement if this is a transaction you it's know, a transaction hey, this, no, go ahead go ahead go ahead <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah, I think so. This is the one person who's I probably going to hold you down more go. than anyone else, and you're lying to them. First and, off, you're going to snitch on you gonna snitch on me to the police. I can already tell. But anyways, here's the thing. So I answered your question, right? It's radically different when women do it, when women cheat. That was not the answer. I had answered it before that. But if you want to know about that, I'll break that down for you. So 
You ever went around slanging dick? No. I figured you hadn't. I have. Now, in the case when you go around slanging this meat, uh, it turns out that the penis is an external phallus, which can be easily cleaned. You dig? Like, you know, I can, you may have used some of my fine man and woman brand soap in there, manandwomanbrand.com. So a man goes around, he can use soap and wash his penis. I understand. And actually clean it. Okay, what, what am I about to say? I understand the whole thing. Like, it's different, you know, like a man having 100 bodies and a woman having 100 right. bodies. It's not the same. We're right. not the same. So why does I it under, need to be the same when I understand that. get busted cheating? The whole cheating? point is that you lied. You oh, are God. lying. You're doing that because you know I'm right. You had an agreement. This you're is your, so this wrong. Is your, this is your and partner. It's so sad. You're you're excusing lying. You're excusing it's, cheating. You're excusing being dishonest. Do you lie every day? No. Do you lie every week? No. You go a whole week without lying. I can go a whole week without lying. Yes. Well, I maybe lie to my boss. Well, I maybe like, oh, girl, that shirt looks nice. Yes, but I would not consider myself a liar. I consider myself everyone to be a lies. very honest person. Every, think, that's not even everyone, honest to say that you don't lie. I think everyone says little lies. You just said you go a week without lying. That's why, not even what would honest. I need to, what am I scared of? When you lie, you're scared of the outcome that could come about from telling the truth. Listen. That is that is why you lie women because you are scared. Do because not you are need scared. to be because making you are scared. such important you had, decisions. You had, you had an agreement. You're in a marriage. You guys are committed to each other. I hear if you. You're, if you're that motherfucker, if you're that guy, I hear you. Guess what? I'm gonna go fuck this bitch. This is what's gonna happen. Okay. So all right. So let's say I'm um, gonna, I want to go have sex with someone else. Okay. And I'm so, letting you know. Just real quick. Just hey, for, you got you got your just for entertainment. Your 100 girlfriends. Just and they all know about each other? Honestly, I respect it. Just for entertainment real quick. For entertainment. So What's you that? get married mm -hmm. to L dumb fucko. And then L comes to you and don't he says. Don't insult my husband <laughs> like Don't insult yourself like that, okay? <laughs> and then he comes to you and he says, look. For some strange reason, you would like to know. Yeah. There's this chick. She dragging some serious wagon, so I need to get to bagging. Okay, I uh, I got her on my calendar for Friday at 4 p.m. I'm going to go take care of that. And uh, just want to give you a heads up, love. You know, we have little little Bobby and little Lillian and mm -hmm. little young Sue, the adopted one. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not trying to mess up my whole family here. Mm -hmm. I just want to give you a heads up and yeah. full transparency and honesty. Are you going to ruin my family now or are we just going to rock on? We would probably rock on. Okay. Oh, so you just want to hear about it in advance? Yeah. I, I think, like, this is your partner. Like, this is the partner. person you should trust the most. This is your wife. I, I'm I'm trying to speak from just, like... So if, if they woman, tell if you... If a woman is saying this or if a man is saying this, that's why uh -huh. I keep saying partner. And there's okay. girlfriends, wives, mistresses, like, whoever you're with. So this is your significant other. if they tell you you're not about to go do any, like, Lena the Plug type shit... I think if he would feel that it's so okay. Long? I feel uncomfortable now. <laughs> well, I mean, I wouldn't want to go like fuck someone if I'm with someone anyway. But okay. if my man's like, hey, you know, like I'm, you know, a little unhappy in our sex life or, you uh -huh. know, I just want to go have sex with someone else. Like, uh -huh. I'm just letting you know. And uh -huh. if, hey, this is what we need to do to save our marriage and you feel okay with this and we're both comfortable, like do what you got to do. But I would also hope to be with a man if I felt the same way later on he would be just as understanding sending your comments questions urls tuition we're winding down here ladies and saints why why you can't just be like look quit i'm messed up and i want to i'm, 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 I'm wrong up. but i want to be right i'm not messed up i'm not I, i'm wrong I but i want to be right you're insecure I'm wrong. You're insecure. But that I is, be that right. is why you would never allow I'm wrong, for a woman to do that right. while you're doing that because you're insecure. You're insecure. It's not filthy. You're, like you're filthy for going and fucking someone else. Let me you're ask just you a question. Let me it doesn't ask matter you a if question. it's an external factor. No, you're, no, let me just no, drop some science. Do you mind? Insecure, Can we drop some science? In, you would feel inferior. Can we drop to some the other science? Man? Fuck, he, you know what? He could potentially lay better pipe than you. He guaranteed he lay better pipe than me. He probably did, exactly. And you're insecure I'm, about it. Listen, no. And you're, and you're insecure. I make about love it. like a wealthy man. And I make love like a wealthy you man. Are insecure. You heard me? No, if he guaranteed to lay pipe better. Everybody lay pipe hey, better than me. If you Everybody. Felt, if you felt secure about yourself, I don't about fuck your the body. I don't fuck the body. I fuck the mind, baby. Everybody lay better pipe than me. I'm fucking the mind. You heard me now. You Dig probably, this. You probably know that she would be with a man who's like a lot more reasonable than you, and he here's could the thing. Take your bitch. 
Here's the th- I'm not Adam Probably 22. Not I'm not I'm not molested. Now, let me ask you this. How long does semen last in the vagina? How, how long does semen live in the vagina? I don't know, a couple of days. Five days. You live up to five days mm-hmm. in your vagina. Mm-hmm. So you don't think that's filthy? You go, like, get banged out by Ron and Day Day, and then you come back to your husband you in the same week? You don't think it's filthy that your No, husband, answer that, though, and then we can go on to this. Answer what I asked you, and then we can go on to your question. Yes. And I think so it's you filthy. say, yes, it is filthy. Yes, and okay, I do think right. it's filthy for a man to go and have sex with another woman, like, and not What What is the scientific it- level of filth? I just described a scientific level of filth. What's the scientific level of filth with a man doing the same thing? His man, a man inseminating, putting his semen into Uh a woman that's going to be there for what, five days? That's the same shit. It's disgusting. Okay, let me break it down. Inserting. It doesn't Uh, matter. It's both. No, it doesn't matter, though. It does matter. You're both in a sexual act, Uh but you're lying about it. That is the no 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 like, say both lying. are no we're not talking about lying so both are honest and just here's okay, the so difference I want you to honest. pay attention okay. I want you to pay attention to this thing mm-hmm. so you have a husband and wife right okay. wife goes out gets maxed out by Todd and Bob yeah comes back she has other men's semen in her body yeah she's in your pre- presence with other men's semen in her body if you go in that same orifice you're poking around your fish stick in someone else's tartar sauce yeah, probably now conversely if joseph goes out and sees maria 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 not in like whoever else mm-hmm. and then he comes back there is no scientific difference in his penis when he gives you lays that meat on you you get that jimmy dean sausage is as good as new Can it's people, as good as new is that not how people spread STDs? What are you talking about? Let's presume there's no STD what in both cases. That's do you so understand disgusting. the that's difference? So disgusting. No, that's still let's, gross. Let's presume there's no STD. Do you understand how it's different? I do understand how it's different. Do you, yes. you see the difference in cleanliness, right? I understand that. Yes. Yeah, so I do understand. We were actually designed biologically that a female would be with one male and a male would drive to maximize capturing a high number of females, the lower animals as well as we humans. That's why you can be pregnant by one man at a time. I can have an infinite number of women pregnant. We're actually designed that way. So why go against nature? Why go against nature? nature. I'm, not ag- I'm not against going against nature. Hey, if you want to go out and you want to have 10 girlfriends and you want to tell all your 10 girlfriends that you want to have 10 girlfriends, go ahead. But I think you should be fair about it. I think it's insecure. Wait, you. what's fair? What's fair? What's fair? If she wants to do the same thing, I think you. That's unnatural. Says who? That's unnatural. Says who? So if I fuck you in the ass, you're gonna turn around. You wanna fuck me in the ass? Maybe. You better like it. Um, God damn it. Get cuck twenty two. They're a perfect. They're a match made in heaven. Use a cold <laughs> freak. Listen, yep. I'm glad. Use a, a super dun, 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 super freak. Uh, El Santo writes. I'm not convinced she's full, ma- bro. I ain't either. I ain't either, man. El Santo, tell me, like, oh, so you be cheating and being people. Mexican up girls and be so trill. A Mexican and- girl never in her life is about to be like, you cheated, I'm leaving. Stop it. Uh, we have morals would have kept the oh, that OnlyFans on the down low. Peace to the saints. So men can do anything and women can't. Exactly. Not anything. Alicia. It's not exactly, that. Alicia. Wait, who said that? Exactly. Thank is you. that a super chat? Stay focused. Come on. Carrying exactly. on. Exactly. None of the there. above one on one writes. Oh. I've noticed that the guest, I think he's talking about you, right? Is very volatile Don't know who toward liars. There. Ironically and sadly, she lies as easily as she breathes and blows. Oh, every other word is a Hopefully lie. Hopefully she gets the help she you needs. You me, baby. So she can come you over here, uh, co- overcome her I'm, clear so trauma. I know this is like your God and, you know, you praise him and you don't really have like a mind of your own. And, you know, wow. for weak, why for weak minded people? men, why you know, people? it's why like, so oh, mean? yes, master, God, you know. Why are you trying Peace, to find praise ways to the to saints say, and you're sending your hard earned money to, you know, well, oh, let me ask man. you a you're question to this man. Let me ask but you a I'm question curious, about that. Piece. Why I like do you that. not call him out online? I want to. Why are you only calling? He might respond to you. No, I'm not. He might respond to you. Saint, I'm not knocking the hustle. Yo. Nah, like, I would, like no, this no, is no, what, no. like, you know, no, let's most talk about that. YouTubers and all this shit. Let's talk do. about that. I think that. that's dope. But I, but where is a I dollar just, better spent? Real question. Where is a dollar it's better spent? That men is it better spent on your OF? All of these things or is it better spent than, with me? Then, like, call. He, he might respond man. to you. We're going to give him some time. Where is a dollar better spent? Is it better spent on your OF or is it better spent with me? Depends you're asking. For a man. Depends you're asking, baby. 
Depends who you're asking. Let me ask you. No, I'm asking depends you right asking. now. If it you had a son, who you're if, asking. if you had a 16 year old son, it depends who you're asking. Look, look me, Ma, I have a serious question for you. If you had a 16 year old son mm -hmm. and he had his last $100, mm -hmm. would his last $100 be better spent on your OnlyFans or better spent with me? Depends who you're asking. I'm asking you. And it would depend to me. Um, let, would, let me reiterate this real quick. Yeah, you know what? Spend it on spend it on me. Okay. Yes. So I'll just let me yes. let me break this down real quick. <laughs> Who would it be better spend on? Do I want to give you the money? Me the money? I want the money, babe. Yeah. So give me the money. That's what I want. None of the above one on one rights. I pissed her off. <laughs> Let's go. Hey, baby, keep oh, sending me man. money. Keep keep sending oh, your man. master money. What's up? Okay, God. Okay, JVR came in on Cash App. To be clear, Saint, there is no churro. I. No, it was. I damn near want to find out who claimed there was a churro man. Liars. It was a man who lied. But we have a lot of restaurants that say, of course, bro. We wouldn't even know about churros if it weren't for that. But come on. He writes, we do have a corn man, though. Of course, a corn man, an ice cream man. Hey, Bam churro said, man. Saint, how do you, you keep the churros hot? On Cash App, Bam said, Saint. Who eats cold churros? Go ahead. Maybe they got a little microwave. Saint, could you ever take a woman like this serious? Reheat a oh, churro. Oh, yeah. Could did you? you? Just, did you just mention <laughs> reheating churros? I don't know. How else are they supposed to heat them up? Like, if there's a churro, man, how are they supposed to heat them up? Did you just mention reheating churros? I mean, you either are going to eat them cold or you're going to eat them hot. What do you mean? People throw them in the air fryer. What are you talking about? Oh, my God. That was not cool. What, what, what happened? Go ahead. Relax. Bam said, Saint, could you ever take a woman like this serious? I tried Saint's to take in love with me. <laughs> oh, 100%. You're so going to see. Crazy. How Saint's they, in love with me, they... and he knows it. <laughs> this is belligerent. This is and deeply anyone with belligerent. any common sense would know that. With too. common sense. This is belligerent right now. Read the room, baby. Okay. Okay, we have Carry Kevin on. came in with $50 on Cash App. Baller alert. And this is the Kevin from one of the conferences. From one of the educational conferences yes. that I put on, that would be well worth supporting. Yes, and he said, "Peace to the Saints Pe tuition." Peace to the Saints. Shout to the real ones. That, that wasn't Swiffer Wetjet. That was I didn't know Kevin in Europe. No, it's Swiffer, Swiffer Wetjet. Wetjet. Shout yeah, to yeah. Swiffer Wetjet. It's always good to hear from the Saint in a real way. We have Jalon said, "Why is it that when a woman leaves you, she goes and accomplishes what you've tried to push her to do, her goals, when you were with each other, such as chasing her dream and losing weight, etc." And losing weight? Well, she gonna need to lose that goddamn weight to get a new man. But here's the the important part: <laughs> it doesn't matter what she does after she leaves you. You hear me? Because once she leaves. I don't want her back. Ain't that door, once you go through it, don't come back. She's gone. Yeah, yeah. No. Cause see me, as I said, like she think it's all good to go be in them streets and then come back and like think that husband is still gonna poke on that. No, sir, e Bob. Once you done went out in them streets, I don't know who didn't touch you. Hell, I don't know. I don't even like people looking at you. So nah, we ain't gonna do all that. That's disgusting. I think they're asking, I don't think that's what they're asking. I think they're saying, like, you know, hey, you're in a relationship. You know, a woman's lazy. She gets right. fat. But why is it that she, once you break up, that she's accomplishing all her goals and she's like getting skinny, looking and hot, I'm saying taking care of herself? It doesn't matter because I encourage people to ask the right questions in life. Okay. So you're trying to so figure that out. Pertain, so that doesn't pertain to you. So you're saying like that wouldn't even pertain to them anymore. It has so it's not to do with you. She's okay. she's outro. That's fair. Yeah. I'm caught up. Fantastic. You're a gamer. Um, I've gamed before. I I don't really game anymore. That Would much. you consider yourself a nerd? Kind of. Yeah, me too. Anyways. Um, you consider me a nerd too? Yeah, hell yeah. yeah. You yeah, play yeah. video games, girl? Quit tripping. Um, do you smoke cigarettes? No. Keep it real with your boy. No. Oh. You smoke bing bings when you drunk? No. Okay. Um, what ethnicity was your last boyfriend? I'm going with white. No. Word. He's Serbian. Serbian. Yeah. That's white. What, what's no, going on not. here? Do I need to take her over to the map real quick? Jesus Christ. No. Anyways. Caucasian, like more like Mexicans than white. What? Yeah. <laughs> They're like Russians. Go ahead. Baller alert. Joshua writes, I live in Vegas and dated a woman like your guest. I see pain in their eyes, hoping to land their ideal man. <laughs> Not the real man, but the ideal man. One well, that probably doesn't exist. Truth is, no real quality man will stay with women like these. There's a great book I recommend for your guest, and it's called The Bible. The Bible. <laughs> I like how he set that up. I damn near needed some ellipses. I have a book for your guest, dot, dot, dot. The Bible. He says you need the Lord. 
our I savior would, jesus christ kiss him, okay you but you need the lord though do you do you ever feel like i kind of need the lord um i was very religious i i think i consider Word? myself a very spiritual person yes right you're wanna, spiritual now wanna, no i've always been yeah uh, but you said you were very religious um i was a lot more religious i would consider myself more spiritual now than religious Did you grow you up know? catholic yes okay um but now you like <laughs> all that <laughs> get this money mm, not fuck all that i mean um, they're they're i don't agree with everything that has to do with you know catholicism that's kind of the so. thing about religion though you gotta sign on to the whole thing it's not mm. like a pizza like oh give me this slice right here i don't you have like to agree that with slice. every single thing like I yeah guess, in yeah. a religion yeah, I guess, for yeah sure. like how you're saying like i don't i don't like to i mean what do you mean like you can no you have to take the whole thing you I know you know how to take the whole thing. I can be thing. with Come someone on. and not agree with everything you do. Not no, agree with I'm a man. Like, not I'm a man. With... We're talking about God. I understand that. Uh -huh. But I'm saying like Catholicism as a whole, I don't think yeah. you have to necessarily agree with everything to be considered Catholic. I was raised Catholic. I'm not a practicing Catholic. No. Does that make you feel better? Like, do I believe in God? Yes. Wait, so you believe that you can be a real catholic i'm not saying okay i'm not catholic no i don't think we know you ain't catholic yet we know you ain't catholic lord come on i said i was raised catholic yeah a lot of people were raised catholic it's nonsense so you actually believe someone could honestly say i'm a catholic but i don't believe everything in the bible yes Okay. Uh, well, Brandon writes, hard to believe, but you know she loves you when she says you love her. This is a psychotype, Hokemon mm -hmm. piece. This is Nick, Hokemon? Mm -hmm. Hokemon? The ball said Hokemon. Fascinating. Ashley said Jesus is not Catholic. A Ashley in there chatting her ass. We also have Jay on Cash App said this guest is horrible at staying on topic and truth. Well, uh, she is a woman. Carrying on. <laughs> and he's a man. He's, you know. I am not lying. a man. I am the man. Carrying on. Now. Need to differ. Um, <laughs> don't lie to yourself, love. Now, say you met a man that you were interested in, right? Mm -hmm. And you start cohabitating. So you've been living together um, for two months. And you're like, you know, I think this is going to work. Sure. And he says, um, I want you to stop the OF. Sure. Again. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So then you get married. Then he says, I want you to be, uh, I don't want you to work. I do. There is a sort of fulfillment for me that comes with um, creating something of my own. So mm -hmm. if he wanted to help me, you know, make something of my own, I've always had dreams of running my own coffee shop. If he was like, hey, babe, I don't want you to work. I don't want you to be in the club. Yeah. I want to help you start this coffee shop. You want to start your clothing brand. I want you to do this. So that is working. Okay, so uh, if he sure. said, I don't want you to work. Um, I you didn't just, like, change jobs. Like, if I said, like, I don't want you to wear a shirt, you're like, oh, I won't wear the green one. I'll wear the blue one. Like, no, 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 no shirts out okay. here. Got you. Yeah, titties um, out. So he just wants to be a stay-at-home wife, a stay-at-home You ain't got to, I mean, I really, you, you should stay him? at home, but you don't like to stay at home. You like to be in them streets. You be lost, though. Like, you know what, Loki, what are your hobbies? I'd be lost. What? You'd be lost if what you I, didn't what have. Do I, what do I do? If what? you didn't, that's that's the point. You'd yeah. be lost. I I what? You were naming them, so tell me. No, I was going to ask. What are your hobbies? No, tell me, because you already know, right? No, I don't know. Yeah, that's what you were already starting to name them. So tell me, what is it? I like <laughs> I love to be in the streets. So tell me what I like to do. When you're in the streets. Yeah. What do I? Like well, to do? currently your your work is in the streets. Mm -hmm. So once you remove work from a lot of people in america male and work female as in, are you talking about only fans are you talking about no, social just, media just work are in you general talking about, like, just work just out of my house is the streets no no right now we're talking about work so when i say when you remove work which is to say the burden of earning money mm -hmm. when you remove that from most people mm -hmm. they're left idle video games escapist things mm -hmm. hedonistic pleasures because most people don't have hobbies mm -hmm. that's what i'm saying well, what are your hobbies what are my so if you were yeah if you were a stay-at-home wife as you call it just a woman who was a kept woman didn't have to work mm -hmm. what would you be doing there are a lot of things i like to dabble into i we do a lot of, i do a lot of social media i just got a new camera video editing oh you know how to work the stuff. big cameras i just got a big one like yeah. the chinese tourist camera mm, it's like a sony 7 IV. yeah so it's like okay. a decently like i don't know anything about this cooler okay. camera um right. 
I had an iPad. I remember I was like drawing for a while. I was sewing for a bit. Video games. You really be playing? Um, you really said video games out loud to the big homie. That's yeah, crazy. Yeah, I mean. Yo, stock. I mean, plummeted, music. I got though. a new. I got a house. I was remodeling my house. It was. Uh-huh. It was like a year remodeling the house. So That's that a was a big time. thing yeah. that I was doing. Um, I like working. I pick up gigs. Okay. I was a cosmetologist actually, so I did nails. I did hair. Okay. Yeah. I actually like your nails today a lot. You like these? I do. Really? That is my favorite. Natural. That is my favorite. Gotcha. Yeah, absolutely. Um, shout out to you, and also shout out to the ballers. Benjamin writes, "Quit." You got her angry and worked up on the whatever podcast. <laughs> would you agree? Oh, this dude's super would, crazy. Would, would you agree? Delusional. Okay. I was a little annoyed, yes. When women get worked up, they also usually get aroused. Would not you agree? The case. No, okay, not the she's case. lying still. Not the That's case. the only reason she that wants that second happen. round. You need no. that second round, huh? Oh, the second. The second round is my strong one. You don't know. Let me just say that, okay? Do you know so, that the second round is my strong round? Let me tell you something. Just real quick, do you know that the second round is my strong round? You, suck, you, you fuck like a wealthy man. You right, like but that doesn't mean the second round can't be my strong round. They both terrible, but the second round the better one. Go ahead. Uh, Mr. Jones writes, she's very intrigued by you for sure. Wouldn't be doing this meetup if she wasn't. She's that's how I know she ain't brain dead. Women can't deny (laughs) alluring charisma. You ain't never lied, Mr. Jones. Did it ever like did you ever consider that your boy, the sinner and the saint over here? Like, you know, she didn't just say my name backwards. He's taking time out of his very busy and successful life to meet with me. Do you, <laughs> you, be trying, maybe, you like to flip stuff up. Flip do you think mode? that maybe? Thank you, David, for the support. And then we have on Cash App Saint CB sent tuition. Shout out to Saint CB. I caught up. Fantastic. All right, let me fi- finish this up. Let me wind this down since you over let me here. Wind this down. You know, I got some questions for you. Word. Okay, so <laughs> she just bust out her phone with the questions. Let's see. We got, some, we got some bullet points here. What, that many? Yeah, we do. It's we a got lot. some. That's a lot. Um, Audience, help me out. Okay, help me let's out. see. Let's let's start it from the top. Okay. okay, so um, there's something. You ain't gonna just read them? I thought they were right there. I was like, some things we did, you know, already touch on. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, so I say OnlyFans. You know, everyone. You know, three hundred four. Uh-huh. These fucking disgusting girls. Like, I never oh said that about God. OnlyFans you know, girls. They're despicable and they're brain dead and they have nothing Dang, else to offer. That's crazy. You did say on the podcast that like I had like nothing else to offer and like what skills did I have? No, you have something to offer. But on the podcast, you did say that okay. I don't have anything to offer, right? Okay, all right, go on. You're being rude, right? I was being mean. You're being mean. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Did you mean those things? That you're brain dead? No, yeah. I don't think you're brain dead. So you were just throwing out insults? No, no, I was throwing out facts. You said that I'm brain dead. Is that? I just said that is not a fact. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Um, so you, and you, you know, you believe like women shouldn't have OnlyFans. Like w- women who have OnlyFans are, are hoes and they should be shamed. And they're, they not should be find, shamed. Yes. And they should be shamed. You know, Correct. and there's like, we're not going to find anyone to like love us or whatever. I um, did not say that, but they should be shamed for sure. Um, do you ever place the blame on men? Yes, actually. Like there's a supply and demand. No, you know what? No, like, these perverts. Doing this? Listen, mm-hmm. if it was up to me, we'd take care of these perverts. Honestly, we would. That's the problem. That's the actual problem. These do you perverts. think that that's the root of the problem? If there's is no, it men or women? If, there's, if, if, if no one's side, paying, if, if we had, if no one is paying, you guys wouldn't do it. And the man is the leader, so mm-hmm. it always comes back to the man. That's correct. So, do you think that instead of shaming these women, do I shame you think, both of them? But do you think we should probably focus more on men? On, that, that is on my primary m- focus. That is my primary focus. That is your primary focus. Is, my is primary shaming focus. men? I shame. I don't shame. I tell men to not engage in intoxicants of any form, alcohol, sugar. So you don't shame men, drugs. but you'll but you'll shame a, but you'll shame an OnlyFans. Girl. I will shame a man consuming OnlyFans. Absolutely. But it's not only that. I tell them to purify themselves in all ways. And purifying yourself of pornography is just one such way. Purifying themselves of all, of all ways. Okay. But it's okay for you to, like, degrade a woman, like, on this platform. I don't degrade women. You were degrading me. 
Uh, will you accept my apology? Are you sorry? Don't ask me a question when I ask you a question. <laughs> okay. I'm asking you if you're sorry. You're asking. You're saying no, no, if no, I accept no. your apology, but no, no. I want to know if you're truly sorry. That wasn't sorry. the apology. That wasn't the apology. I'm, I'm asking. asking. Will you accept an apology? If you were genuinely apologetic, if you were sorry, if uh -huh. um, yeah, I probably would. Not probably. Will you accept an apology? Yes. Okay. Very good. I apologize to you for being mean to you. And I did not want to hurt your feelings. It's not productive. I didn't. I didn't hurt my feelings. No, I said, I didn't say I did. I said, I did not want to mm -hmm. hurt your feelings. Um, and I would like to get beyond this. Mm -hmm. Do you think, you, you know, accept I accept my think apology? I do accept your apology. Okay, it's I've, a sincere apology. And I, and I do appreciate okay, that. Right. Um, I do think besides, you know, I think we got off to a rough start and you, <laughs> you know, degrading me online was... You, Pretty disgusting. It, you enjoyed it though, Pretty but disgusting. that's your kink. No, I didn't. But go on. But, that's your kink. Go um, ahead. I think for the most part, your platform is pretty positive when it comes to men. And I think you want men to be better. And I know you said you have oh, your you know woman what? space. You Glad know what you I mean? That. Yeah. Um, and you know, and, and you're doing good things for them. And I do think it's positive. It, it seems genuine. I do think you want to help people. I'm glad you mentioned that. Can you drop the link for the uh, Lady Saints cookbook in the chat? Yeah. We have a group of women who are very honorable women, and one of the products that they've created is a cookbook, has a number of great recipes. We want to share that for the men who like respectable, honest, upstanding women who are feminine and <laughs> are willing to whip up a meal, you dig? Yeah, so dang. definitely uh, share that because we want to support our ladies. Uh, may I acknowledge John Easton? He's back. He writes, watching pods, she comes across as nurturing and caring, but, but... <laughs> So guarded, it barely shows. I see through her. She mm -hmm. spoke about risking her future husband and family for fast cash now. Why? You know what? This was also something I wanted to touch on. I moved. I moved to Vegas. You know, I moved here four years ago. Okay. Um, that was like a year before COVID? Yeah, a year before okay. COVID. Um, you know, I wanted to work in the industry. Like, yes, I I didn't want to work. You know, these forty hour weeks. Like, I wasn't what, making what good money. What is the industry like? Uh, uh, like hospitality. I wanted to work okay. at like the nightclubs. You know, okay. I I knew some girls were working. You know, two three nights a week. You know, making great money, being able to travel, save up. Um, you know, invest, and that was something I knew that I had to move out of my hometown to do. Yeah, you know, your hometown sucks. Yeah, no, it yeah. It, it really is. I mean, I'm you know grateful for everything, but there wasn't much it's opportunity fake, there. Fake Mexicans, but go on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mexican okay. pants. Um, there was no corn man. I don't believe you. Okay. <laughs> um, I don't like, I didn't just move out here. Like just for me, like I, I feel like being a Mexican or a Mexican. Um, I don't, really don't just, just don't even, you were saying Mexican, you, yeah, you were know, just, just saying it, but don't, I'm going in, I'm just going off of what you said. Just, I would just like try to like get people to not think about it. No, but it's, it's fine. I mean, they can think whatever they want, but I'm just saying like, that's such a huge part of me. Like. I want to take care of my family. Like, that's such a huge part of me. Like, being a Mexican, like, that's probably please, my most important. Please, please. They are, the Mexican delegation has spoken. It's over now. Okay? You're just an American now. Just go with it. The delegation has spoken. You've been, you're out. <sighs> I can put in a good word, but as of now, you're out. Just go with it. You're out. Just... I don't know if you're just like, I don't know whether to. No, I'm like, serious. No, I'm serious. You're out. <laughs> oh, this guy's annoying. Yeah. I feel like we're trying to have like a good conversation. Mm -hmm. Like we're making so much progress and you're like, oh, you're out. You're out. Whatever. Like, yeah, the mariachi I'm, camping. I'm, I'm trying to like yeah. answer that. Do you want me to answer this question? Yeah, yeah go ahead. Go ahead. Because I'm ahead. like, I'm now I'm like kind of fucking annoyed. Yeah. yeah go I'm ahead. just saying like, okay, being a Mexican. Okay. You know what? Cut out the whole race thing. Right. I want to right, I I take right, care of my family. Please. I want to take care of my family. I moved okay. over here. I want to be able to open something up of my own. I want to be able to like have something that's there even beyond my life. I want to be able to take care of my nephew. Um, you trying to take I care of a lot for, of shit. God damn. I mean, I can think you take care of a boss though. Can I take care of a boss? Yes. Of a man. What are you talking about? Next, next uh, super chat. That's We're it. playing games. She's still playing games. That's insane. Okay. What other questions did you have? Fuck, you're just annoying sometimes. You know the funny, I, I'm such an easygoing guy, I must admit. 
I don't really fully comprehend when other people are actually getting bothered because I'm so chill. Stop. No, so chill. Stop. I'm so chill. Yeah, you are pretty chill. You know, like, hey, you know, you're being receptive. Like, we're having a good conversation. Right. But, like, I was being, I was, he was talking about being guarded and whatever. Right, right, right. And I was, like, being vulnerable. And you were like, no, you're done. You're cut off. Oh, you you're were Mexican. being. I was being genuine. Oh, okay. Pop it back up. Go ahead. I don't know if I can find it. No, it's fine. Okay, all right. But, like, you want, I, you know, like, you're right. you want women to be vulnerable and soft. And, yeah, like, yeah, I. Yeah, for sure. Like, that just proves to you I was being vulnerable and you are being yeah. rude. I am a caveman. I mean, I didn't get it. No, like that was disrespectful, and you want no, 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 you, no. And, that's and you, not disrespectful. No, and you want mm. you want women to be vulnerable. Nah, and I feel like you Thank try you. to make me like feel dumb about it. Word. Yes. <clears throat> nah. So there's a difference. I'm, t- I'm telling you, Real like quick. how you made me feel. Right, but I'm telling yeah. you why. I'm, listen, there's a difference between between being disrespectful, that's like intentionality, and then being a caveman, which is like I didn't even notice that. You know, like. I'm you not didn't, a sensitive person. You didn't person. notice that you were just, you just cut me no, off No, I didn't said, notice no, that you were You're being... out of the Mexican. You're, you're done. You're out of the community. <laughs> right. When I was being genuine about that's like what point. I was telling I you when I was being vulnerable about that. Right. No, I didn't notice that. I didn't, I didn't realize that. And that's why I said, since you are, go ahead. I'm going to, I'm going to be serious now. No, that's it. You, I feel like, okay, you're, I'm coming on this show and like, I'm like exploiting myself. Like obviously Damn, like this exploiting is not, yourself? like this is not my, you know, like my kind of viewers or whatever. Like, uh-huh. you know, she's a 304, I, she's a dumb bimbo, blah, blah, blah. Quit right, reading whatever. the chats. No, just, this is what I've said before. I'm not okay. reading the chats anymore. All right. Um, Don't degrade yourself. That's my job. I'm not degrading job. myself. I'm, that's okay. not what I think. All like right. it's, I am fine up here. Okay. <laughs> I am okay. <laughs> okay. Like these incels, uh-huh. they're fucking Dang. like, their what? opinion doesn't matter Dang. to me that much. But Kidding I'm me. coming I'm coming on here, you know, uh-huh. trying to get an understanding, and then you're right. cutting me off. And I feel like right. it's just rude. Okay. Like, if it, this was my platform, like, uh-huh. I would let you speak freely. Like, I wouldn't cut you I, off, like, trying to make you look dumb, feel dumb. I didn't mean to make you look dumb. I was just enjoying myself. I mean, I, I, for real, for real, you got to hang around some L.A. Mexicans because they be making the worst nicknames for people. I know like L.A. Mexicans. I Fat. Like, they're, the girl nickname is fat. You feel me? It's like. I, I understand that. That's not what we're saying. But I was just being vulnerable. I this didn't even know. said that I'm so guarded and I was being vulnerable. And then you were like, no, you're I'm not ins- even a Mexican. Look, I'm insensitive. I just. No, <laughs> yeah, I just. That no. was insensitive. Right. That's what I'm telling okay. you. Are you listening to me? I am insensitive. Okay. So I'm telling you, I don't have, I don't even want to say the skills. I don't even, I can't even recognize that you are being vulnerable because I'm insensitive. And now that you've told me, like I'm autistic, right? Yeah. So you've told me and now I've like, okay, boom, mm-hmm. I got it. So I'm like, boom. Okay, the rest of the super chat. Go in. Okay. Um, no, that's it. That's, no, don't really want to. I'm going to beat your ass. Like, word, you just did that to me. Okay, go ahead. We caught up? Um, Saint, the Mexican delegation does not, the, the delegation has returned peace to the saints. You know what delegation be absent when they need to show up? You don't know. The white delegation. When it's time for the white delegation to show up, I feel like they don't show up and speak out enough. Very quiet, that delegation. Okay. <laughs> Ramsey says on PayPal, peace to the saints from Canada. Question for Anissa. Why would ar- naturally attractive females artificially enhance themselves? Mm. Young ladies in our society are constantly exposed to women being everything but themselves. Mm. Um, I think a woman's yeah. physical appearance is like her, uh, it's like her value. It's like her status. Definitely. I mean, you've said, you know, like a woman probably, you don't want her to work. She don't have too much experience. The most she can be is like beautiful. I feel like that's like the only thing that really matters. Like, I don't think a lot of these people necessarily like care what I even have to say. Like, even if I made a point, like a lot of them wouldn't really, I mean, saying, be real. People don't really care. Like, what women have to say. Like, me and you could be saying the same thing and they'd be like, Anisha's a fucking dumb bitch who like, this fucking brain dead cocktail server bimbo and they're like, oh, saying, let me suck your dick. You know, like all these guys on here. Why do you keep trying like, to throw subliminals at me though? <laughs> like, no, I'm saying you have like a loyal Do you feel like, like you're throwing subliminals though? Subliminals of what? Your intentions though. 
No, I'm not. I'm not trying okay. to dog you. I'm not trying to dog okay. your hustle. Like no, I know no, no, we like I'm that's not, not what I'm trying to say. That, so I, I apologize if that's no, how it no, seems because no, I'm no. not trying to do that. No. But I'm just like I want these people to kind of reflect on like mm. I could make I could be making a point. I could be making complete okay. sense. Right. And these men who are already in their head that like uh -huh. women are fucking stupid bimbos who don't Dang. know anything. Dang. They're gonna think that. You're a very passionate character. Oh, I'm so passionate. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay, I'm right. a lover. I yeah, feel you like, like you, that. I feel like you can go deeper into that. What? Like, I I agree with that, mm -hmm. and I think that. Carrying on. No, 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 no. Let's let's. You know what? This also goes on to my other. Uh, is there another one? Randy yeah. Came in. He sent additional money to have this read. Okay. He says I can indeed confirm she's Mexican. What? I saw a picture of Shorty from the front, and the closet body genetics are present. Remember, Anissa, plastic surgery can't be passed on. Peace to the saints. <laughs> These I saw boys, a picture of Shorty from the front. These boys are wild. Does that mean I'm fat? Uh, frankly, I'm just reading a chat. I've frankly, he might no, I know. He might have perplexed every last one of us with that one. Uh, but Shorty, frankly. like from the front, like I don't know what you're saying. I mean, like I have a boot job. Like I don't know. You're talking about, like that Mexicans or like what do you? <laughs> What's that, Randy? Send another nine ninety nine. What are you talking about? Um. Do you have any other surgeries you want to get? Um, no, I'm pretty happy right now. None. No, I'm you're done. Yeah, Out I'm the right. game. Uh, I think so. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. Okay. Um, let's let's go back on that topic about you know men you know just already having you know an opinion <laughs> on on women. So okay. uh, something else I did want to touch on was okay. you know on the podcast I do think you have this you know. You know your followers. I do mm -hmm. think you know these people are very loyal to you, and they mm -hmm. and they trust you to guide them. Oh, I'm um, I'm very trustworthy. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I I do. They do believe that. Um, no, that's the facts. Okay, my whole life. That's sure. the facts. Sure. Mm -hmm. Um, and I think when you speak, like when you spoke to me in that way, I feel like you're only encouraging men mm -hmm. to speak to women this way. Again, you are a woman mm -hmm. you are not women so that's number one and then number two you're here now and we have a chance to have a better more civil conversation mm -hmm. and i think this is also instructive and the people who actually follow me don't know me from a sound bite they know me from books i've authored they know me from lectures i've given mm -hmm. and from a meaningful life over time i have a lot of works mm -hmm. So in as much as that's the case, I've said many things about women. So you're a woman. Mm -hmm. I've said many things about women. And my works with women are evident in one such work. Get that cookbook because the ladies worked hard on it and they have great recipes. Um, and drop that in the chat again for the people. Um, so one moment is not going to sway someone. I think it could. I think it could. I, I think, believe you think I th it could. I think if you see... You know, just think about some of these men don't have direction of their own. I, I do think mm -hmm. they look right. to you for leadership. I do mm -hmm. think they look to you for guidance. The, and whole, I think, the whole YouTube manosphere, including the creators, look to me for guidance. Yeah. I'm, so, I'm your favorite YouTuber's favorite okay. YouTuber. So I'm saying they look to you for guidance. So when they see you speaking to a woman, okay. myself, this yeah. way, I think you're encouraging them and it has a lot more influence than you think that these men are thinking, oh, this is how we talk to women. Women this is, this is, or a, why do you want to be women? You are one woman. This is how we talk to a woman. Does that sound better? This is how we talk to a woman. A type of woman, as far as we understood you at so, that point. So do you think that that's okay for men to talk to a type of woman like that? Uh, who you think is a hoe? <laughs> I think... I always tell people when they say, Marquette, how can I be a better debater? How can I do this? How can I do that? I say, oh, a lot of the debates you would see me have on YouTube, I wouldn't have in real life. If someone wanted to debate with me, I'm like, I, I don't know you. And if I do know you and you're trying to debate with me, like, you don't know me very well. I'm not going to go back and forth with you. I don't go back and forth with anyone. I don't have a boss. My father's deceased. I'm not going back and forth with anyone. I think you're kind of like going around the question. I'm just saying, like, so, do you think that these men could then be influenced to think that it, it is okay to talk I do to, not. to you, a woman. You asked me, I, and I said I do not. Way. And I, Do you think that talking to women with respect and letting these men know, hey, 
we don't talk to like you know we don't talk to I will pe- not we don't talk that. to women like that we I don't talk to 304s that. like that because oh no we, we do talk them. to 3 ideally you don't talk to 304s 304s are not for talking 304s are for smashing and dashing. So that's pretty uh, disgusting. all the reindeer smash her, dash are her. You as, are, you, are you not as bad as like the 304 that you're fucking? Like, isn't that disgusting too? No, it, it is you're disgusting. You're fucking with a disgusting woman. It is. Like, you're I just like as that. bad. I like, you're not just as bad, but you're pretty bad. That's I agree. Pretty gross. I agree. Stay away from them. That was a good word. Yeah, shout out to her. That was a good word. Stay away from the 304s. But I'll tell you this when you ask me, what do they learn from what they hear and what they see in my interactions with women? What they'll hear and see, like, for example, you can see uh, one of my shorts with my mother, whom I love very much. She's a very lovely woman. And she made me a lovely, uh, what's that? Is that called a comforter? What is that called? A quilt? A quilt. Yeah, she made me a quilt. And they get to see tender, intimate moments, how you interact with women. And you, I go live with the Lady Saints. We're scheduling one. Hopefully they confirm for this coming Friday. Do tune in. It'll be Friday at 5 p.m. next week on the 22nd. And myself, three of them, we have conversations. We build together. Okay, we okay, talk I get about it. I get goals. it. You're doing, you're doing whatever, and you're saying that these guys are seeing this is how you talk to women. But right. you yourself apologize that you were wrong, that you were mean. I was what mean. you said. I was absolutely mean. Okay, so I'm yes. saying you speaking to me that way, uh-huh. could these impressionable men not then think... I don't think oh, these are impressionable this men. This is how you talk. Even, these are grown men. And I don't think... And I, and I think some of them could be impressionable. I think some of them are looking for a leader. I'm not saying... And I'm not saying all of them. I'm sure to, some... To just, respond to I'm what sure, you're I'm saying, sure, I'm I don't sure think some, it's a big I'm, deal. Sh- I'm sure some just would like to be a part of a community. I'm not saying all these guys are a bunch of weak followers. Every human sure being wants to be in a community not, and a family. That's not the case. But I'm just saying you having as much influence as uh-huh. you do. You said I you, don't have any influence. What are you talking about? What did you? What do you mean? I've been saying this whole time. Like I'm sure you do. Okay. What are you talking about? I didn't but, say that. But here's the summary. Right, I didn't say that, right? Here, here's. <laughs> you might have confused me, right? <laughs> you, you, saying, did, you did not okay, say that. Okay, thank you. Right. So I'm just saying having the influence that you do. do you I don't not take think any that of it back. I don't take it back. I don't think it matters that much. I apologize to you sincerely but i'm saying you don't think that you're encouraging men to speak to women this way no when, I don't when a woman's to love to is women. like you know the ultimate source of power right a woman a woman uh shout How, to tony parker what, he writes it? just because i love seafood women doesn't mean i love long john silvers 304s your kind dang women are great and have a lot of value but we also like to snap away the slores like thanos but we will smash, though. You're just as despicable if you're fucking a hoe. The same you level, are, though? You're just as despicable the same if you're level? fucking a hoe. Yeah, you're just All as... All right, fair enough. You're just as... Carrying on. Shut up. Thank you. Um, okay. You're saying, like, not... So then you're saying those type of women. So you're saying that I am that type of woman that it is... That, no, is, okay, saying... that, that is okay for you to degrade because... No. You're, yeah, that's what you you're saying. You want me to degrade you, though. It's so strange. But like not a chance in hell. Okay, good. Like you literally, you couldn't All as right. much of a three oh four as I am. You couldn't fucking pay me. You could not fucking pay me. Fuck no. <gasps> okay, so seriously, even um, hoes got morals. All right. No, that's that's a fact. That's hey, a fact. Edward came in with five more for this one. He writes, "How many Federal Reserve notes did you trade for them?" <laughs> Probably a lot more than one in your bank account, baby. Dang. Okay, okay carrying on. Okay, it's the slick talk. Okay. All right. You got to let me know where we're caught up, though. Caught up. All right, fantastic. So, cool. We're settled on that. No, we're not settled on that. No, we are settled. No, we're not settled. We are Because you're saying that you talk to a certain type of woman that way. So And, I'm and saying, I mean it. So I'm and saying, I mean are it. you saying that I'm that type of woman? No. No. So you're, that not, you're not a woman that I need to be mean to. Why do you need to be mean to women? I don't. Why are you? Why do you need to talk to women that way? Look, I'm going to tell you this. Pay attention. No, 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 no. Listen to me. Listen to me. I apologize. Mm -hmm. You get over it. No, I'm not. And we're done there. And we're done there. I'm not talking about that. We are talking about about another topic. Listen, and these hoes, I'm going to continue. Listen, I'm going to continue treating a hoe like a hoe, a bitch like a bitch, and a woman like a woman. I will not. I will not. You're a man. I will not you're a act man. like you're a, a powerful man who makes yeah. all this money and you know, I never you have said all I make this all this influence. Money. I never said that. And you're trying to be positive, but then I you're talking. Positive. But then you're talking down on women, regardless if they're hoes, regardless if you I know, will. No, I'm not talking down. I'm talking if, accurately. 
accurately. I live in reality. Throwing and that is why it's not talking accurately. What insults are you talking about? When you call me a brain dead fucking hoe? Listen. What do you listen, mean? That's no, an insult. No, 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 no. In that moment no, you were throwing no, out insults. No, 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 no. As listen. a man, as a leader, no. as a leader, is that the right thing to do? As a leader, is that the right thing to we do? We got Marsha Clark in this like motherfucker. We no, got Marsha Clark in here. If you're a man, I'm gonna come right back to you. If a woman's love is the fucking <laughs> ultimate source of power, why are you talking to women like that? Well, can we remind me to send her one of these canvases? I'm do you curious. want it in that color want, or you want, want you it in a different me. color? I just want you to tell me. If I send you this as canvas, man, are you gonna hang it as up? As a man, who, are you gonna hang who it up? is a leader? Drop the link why, for that canvas. Why are you talking to women like that? Folks, if you're wondering where she's getting this ism from, it's from that canvas right there. If you're supposed to lead, and if you're trying to change, sassinbrand.com, S A S N brand.com. Why would you talk to them that way? Ray writes, exactly. You're not. You don't have an answer because I'm fucking right. Because I'm fucking right. You know. And this is what you do. Yo, I think for the most part. I ain't been turned you, up. I ain't seen nobody turned up this much since I was in Puerto Rico. If you. Since I was living in Puerto Rico, boy. Time, when you, when you are you mixed? I thought you. Come on now. You need to chill. When you get an argument, the you canvas right is thing. in the chat. Was that? The canvas is now in the chat. Thank you. Uh, cop that canvas. She seems to love it. Thank okay. In life, is it not true that people earn <laughs> respect versus it just being given that's correct. That is correct, sir. As in give respect to get it. What are your thoughts on this? Oh, I think that you should engage everyone that you must engage with a basic level of respect. And if they show themselves to not be a good person, then I would try to get away from them. I wouldn't even want to engage them. And if you must engage them, I would treat them according to their true worth and value. I'm caught up. Thank you. Okay. Did you have any other questions or are you just uh, you're harping? You're stuck on that, or did you have any other questions? I think when you debate most people, you're usually right. Are we debating? Right. You're usually right. Are we debating right I'm now? I'm not saying we're debating, but I'm saying when you debate most people, you know, when you get into a discussion, when you get into argument. How would you know? I think you you just You told me you didn't know who I, what my um, name was yesterday or the day before. You're probably, you probably win most of the time, just like from what I'm you undefeated. So I'm undefeated. There you go. You said you're undefeated. So when you answer and kind of deflected when I was asking you a question like I think you know that I'm making a point because as a man I think as I a missed leader, this I'm not sure what you're talking about no because as a man and as a leader you know it's not right to speak to women that way when you love we women and there. you respect women we don't agree there no because you don't know what a woman is you categorize all females as women and we we disagree there greatly xx chromosomes they're women those are females a woman oh, means you've reached maturity Oh. A woman means maturity. That's what that indicates. A girl also has XX chromosomes. It's like arguing with the brick wall. No, because I guess that does make sense because brick walls don't argue. They're just so I guess dumb. that does brick make sense. Brick walls are just like have nothing going on up there. Or they might be wise. Or they might be absolutely well, wise. Well, you have potential, you know, but I think you're a little. I do want to make sure that I honored your questions. You you got all your questions. You're good? Um. Yeah. Are you okay. good? What's up? I think. Oh yeah, folks, any of your comments, questions, uh, links, uh, tuition as we wind down. Let me see if I got all my questions. Uh, what's your current marital status? Marital I'm single. Dating status. And you get it. Okay. He's got a gamer girl who's single. Uh oh yeah, what is the hardest drug you've ever used? Um next question. <laughs> On PayPal, we have Wayne said, beautiful map in the background keeps catching my eye. By the way, respect to her to be here next to Marquette because most people shy away from this type, type of conversation from him. Right, right, absolutely. And I think she knew it couldn't get I any agree. worse than it, it was on Tuesday. She's like, <laughs> look, I've been through hell. <laughs> I wasn't, no, I wasn't put through hell. I think I made some good points, and I think he knows it. Like, so... I'm happy to be here. I think you had you did well with the conversation, and I think that um, you showed some good skill in the conversational part, like mm -hmm. the later part after I finished savaging everybody. Um, so I agree there that you made some contribution. I mean, just because you were the louder, stronger man yelling at a woman, I don't. I know never if once that yelled. Actually, like you were like I don't. Um, yell. You raised your voice, and you were. I never, degrading me. I, so, I, I mean, if that makes you feel good, like, you know, degrading okay. someone who wasn't like, me telling this, you though. shit. Five like, years from now. Five years from now. Yeah. 
five years from now, yeah, will you still be bringing this up? Mm, yes. No. Okay. Understood. Understood. Probably wouldn't be talking in five years. What are you understood. talking about? Yeah. You wish. Understood. You're gonna be bringing this shit. We motherfucker gonna be I mean, eighty three years old. You whole- remember on that podcast? You don't talk about women like that. You're one woman. You know you're but wrong. But it's women. You know you're wrong. You know you're wrong and you like you can't excuse it. Like this is how you've been talking about women. And this no, is how you talk women. to women. And it's you wanna and you wanna separate woman. women from three oh fours. Yeah, so, absolutely. So I should do. I Absolutely. You know, a man, a yes. homeless man who has made probably some bad decisions and you know, and is addicted probably to Probably made some bad decisions. Yeah, absolutely. Should, I, made bad should decisions. I be disrespectful to him? No. Why? He might whoop your ass. Should I be disrespectful? <laughs> no, but I'm just saying, should I be disrespectful bite you. to him? He's made poor decisions. Uh-huh, yes. He didn't respect whatever. Like, okay. And now he's on the streets. Should I be disrespectful to him? No, he already has a lot uh, enough going on. He okay, might whoop Okay, so your then why ass. were you disrespectful to me? I already told you. But the greater, saying, but the why greater are you, question. Why are you disrespectful to hoes? The greater, why are you disrespectful to 304s? Are you a hoe? Are you a hoe? Why are you disrespectful to 304s? Are you a hoe? Why? Are you a hoe? Would it be okay if I was? Would it be okay if I was disrespectful to a homeless man? Did you just suggest? You would not be okay with that. Did you just suggest that you are a hoe? You would not be okay with that. That's what you think. That's what you think I am. Oh, you think I think you're a hoe? Maybe. I mean, maybe not. I mean, now look me in my eye. Do you think I think you are a hoe? Maybe. Yes. Okay. All right. Um, Othon writes, "You were being very disrespectful to the saint in the podcast. Oh, to the saint, to your daddy. Yes." You were triggered because nobody has ever checked you before. (laughs) To the saint. Yo, I will say, I respect, like, you get these motherfuckers to call you, like, the saint. Like, what would you like to call me? What would you? You're their god. What would you like to call me? That's dope. What would you like to call me? I have a name for you. What is it? What is it? Marqueef. That sounds so nasty. Why? That sounds so nasty. You don't think call me a brain dead bimbo is nasty? (laughs) <laughs> listen, That's listen. Nasty too. Listen, do you you know you're having trouble getting over this? I just don't think you see the real issue of it all, and it's not me. It's not that no. you said that, but I think having the influence work with me here. and the platform that work you do, I think you need to understand that, but that it's me. not okay to talk to people like that. Not just women, you. people. I hear you. If but I was disrespectful to the janitor, to the homeless right. man, to That's whatever other person, but we don't need to talk sh- about all that. We're deserve talking about you respect. right now. We're talking about you and Nisa. I, it's not now, about Nisa, me. Work with this me. isn't about me. It is about you. Now work with me. Listen. When I asked you, <laughs> listen. I don't care. Like, dude, I'm gonna go home and like, oh, fucking. Uh, my, my I know. I, is, like, so short, I know what you're about to do when even, you get home. I already what? know what you're about to do. What? I'm gonna cry. I, no. What? No. Um. But listen. I'm gonna turn up and we call the streets. You know I'm out there. <laughs> no. what? Um. Did you say you were going to accept my apology? Yeah, I do accept okay. it. Now listen. I don't think you accepted my apology. I don't think you're understanding where I'm because coming from. Because usually. The way things go after someone apologizes Usually. is that you move on and you yeah. move past it. But that's now, the whole point you, of this podcast. If you can't move on and move past it, then you know you didn't accept the apology, and the person who apologized is really nothing more that they can do. So we both end up stuck there. <laughs> <laughs> you do this thing. And people and it us- and it usually works. And I do think you're probably uh, being reasonable. Trying to be you're trying to be reasonable, but right. I also don't think that you're understanding <laughs> where I'm coming from. This is not about what you told me. Uh-huh. This is about how you speak to people. No, no, don't talk about people. Don't talk about people. This is how you speak to women. No, don't talk about women. Women. A no, woman. no, no, no. Just be you. No, this Just is not. Just be you. Okay. I'll be Can me. Can you cut that out? Because I feel like you're trying to. No, like, I really want you to be you because we can't talk about women. We can't talk about people. This is about women. I am a woman. I, I am included in that group. You're trying to make it seem like I can't get over this. And I know this is like. No, what? I'm not trying to make it that way. I actually want you to get over it because I, I think there's better it. things. I am over it. But I'm telling you. It worked. You got me pissed off. You know. Oh, you're pissed off right now. I'm calming down. I can't even calculate this shit. I the things that are pissing you off are not the things I think are going to get you mad. About what you told me. This is about real quick. Are you actually pissed off? Are you just saying that? No, I'm just saying that. Okay, all right. Do you feel like I'm trying to piss you off right now? No, but I think you're trying to deflect from the real issue, which is that. Oh, you think I'm trying to deflect? You don't think I'm trying to actually just get past something that was unpleasant? I think you're trying to deflect. 
You don't think I'm trying to get past something that was unpleasant? No. Because we're not talking about that. That's not that's not the topic. But like, you keep bringing it up. Because you don't want to answer it. Answer what? Did you finish the super chat? Othon writes, you are being very disrespectful. In front of greatness. Oh. True. Shame. And you were triggered. I agree, Othon. Because nobody has ever checked you before. Oh, I've been checked. I've been checked, okay? Yeah. Not the right way. You were used to guys simping I over you. Sad. Have been sad. Checked. Sad. I have been checked. Sad. I have a sad I have a, I have a that mean she Mexican is sitting family. in front of greatness and not learning. Do you think that you learned anything during the course of this conversation? When you talk to saying you need to refer to him as master, okay? Continue. Do you understand, Othon? Good boy. Hey, Marquette, the biggest came in with more for this. <laughs> I can tell your type of love comes with 30 missed calls back to back. Your car windows busted out and possibly catching a charge for choking a bitch. <laughs> Actually, I prefer a calm man. Believe it or not, yes. Word. I will. Yes. Just well, to I balance your. I am. I, I am. I part. will say. I am right. seeing someone who is. He's a very calm man. Yeah. Okay. You just told us you were single. I am single, but you know, I'm seeing someone. So yeah. Give me that close-up cam again. Oh, sorry about that. Come on, I can't hold this face right now. It's not. It's not on there. Yet. Oh, figure okay. it out. Come there on. We go. She's trolling everybody now, huh? Hey. <laughs> Everyone's on the menu now. Okay, good Lord. Okay. <laughs> on PayPal, we have Wayne says, can you clarify to her why you treat Bridget versus her in a varying different oh. way? And why does she keep relating to herself to all women? Oh. Because it's about all women. Uh, Thank you. So people will, and this is a good question, actually. People will often go from themselves, the individual, to the collective or the group to escape blame, to escape responsibility, accountability. For example, this is the same as a black person saying, oh, I didn't get that job because of racism. The hiring manager is racist. You also didn't show up on time. You also don't have significant education. You also have a spotty job history. No, I was racist, which is applying, you know, like it's you're talking about all you wouldn't hire me because of all blacks, how he looks at all the blacks. And as an individual woman, if you do something that is, you know, impolite or disrespectful or whatever the case may be, if someone calls you out on it, oh, it's not because of what I did, it's because of how you view all the women. So it's an escape technique and you'll observe even whites do this now the whites are doing it too the whites are doing it as well they're all doing it um but if it was about the individual she would acknowledge that as i got more information about you as an individual i treat you based on what i know about you as an individual and we don't have to talk about women because you don't have enough data on how i relate to women which is a fact. Thank you. Me? No. Okay. You, you I'm just saying, data. okay, me taking my phone out is no reason for you to talk to me the way that you did, regardless. So were you, if, were as, you if I made if I made a small of a mistake as taking my phone out uh -huh. and you decided to attack me because of that, uh -huh. I don't think you have much respect for, you know, you. these type of, sure. Okay. You want to say me, but okay. it could have been anyone else. Anyone else who falls in that category, you think Anyone that they make a mistake, or someone that right. you think that you don't agree with their lifestyle, no one's exempt then from contempt. You would attack them that way, and I just don't believe it's in possible. that. It's possible, and I don't believe in that. I feel like I'm. Uh -huh. I keep bringing this up because I feel like there's the bigger picture. It's You're, not me. You have if definitely was, kept bringing this up. If for you sure. had done this to one of the other girls, I uh -huh. would have kept bringing it up too because nah. I feel like it does reflect how you treat others, like. No, no, no. Oh, no. I was just the exception. No, because no. I, you are, because no. I did, I committed a horrible sin and I took my phone out. Yeah, you were disrespectful. Okay. Okay, we have Randy came in on Cash App. He said, comment in the chat. Randy, you're going to have to email it to the email at the bottom of the screen. I yeah, can't find it. We have Josh sent in more to have this read. He said, it does not make sense to respond when a woman is ranting emotionally. She brought up 10 different topics in 45 seconds. She gets it out and felt better, but no reason to respond, not deflections. Mm. And then he wrote, the ranch she's on are crazy. Mm. Do we notice that the men 
bitching, like the people bitching on here uh-huh. are men. Well, the overwhelming majority of YouTube is male. Yeah, the majority you know, of like my it's, it's just crazy. Male. Like so many of these men are just like talking. He shit. writes, "She is disingenuous." What about the apology she accept? That kind of bothers me too. I'm not gonna lie; it kind of hurts. Um, she is a liar who projects her issues to evade accountability. Caught up? Yep. Fantastic. I didn't know there was going to be answers there. Yeah, I hear you. <clears throat> we just, apparently, we're just going to let that one simmer. Let that oh, marinate. I, don't even like, I feel like it's just like, oh, whatever. I think regardless of how I present myself or what I have to say, mm-hmm. um, and this was something that I did want to say on the whatever podcast, okay. you know, when you were asking me, you know, like, what do I bring to the table or what skills do I have? I think, you know, when people view me as this, you know, OnlyFans person or this 304, you know, whatever, um, they already have these preconceived, you know, notions or ideas of who I am as a person. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, a comment like that. And I think I've, you know, I kind of prepared myself before, but then, you know, you get emotional and you, you know, we're going back and forth and you're kind of annoying me and, Mm -hmm. you know, I'm probably like going off on a rant, you know, sometimes, um, like it, it doesn't really matter what I say because it's not going to change anyone's opinion. I don't think anyone wants to. I came here uh-huh. with an open mind. I, I am open to seeing okay. your point of view. Like I'm not. I'm not trying to persuade you of anything. No, 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 no. You're not. I'm, I'm just like I'm talking about the chat. Okay. You know? Um, like, um. They don't like it doesn't matter what my response is because they already have it in their head that I am this, this and this. So like, what do I have to respond to? I have an idea. What do you say that we just start from ground zero? Right, just like we're just meeting each other for the first time. OK, Are you down. Let's do that. OK. All right. But here's the thing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you can't bullshit me this time. What? You cannot bullshit me. Yeah. You literally start brand new. Like, we're just meeting. Okay. We're just two normal persons. All right. Um, obviously, we happen to be on a podcast suddenly. I know we just met you. Yeah. Like, all of a sudden, we're on a podcast. But aside from that, we're just two normal persons. And I'm talking about, like, on and off camera. Mm-hmm. So we're about to have a hard reset for on mm-hmm. and off camera. I'm with that. So anything you've said or done up to this point is mm-hmm. irrelevant. Anything I've said or done up to this point is irrelevant. I'm with it. Are you sincerely with that? Yeah, I'm with that. Do you want to take any time to think about that? No, I'm fine. I was the only reason I was bringing it up was because like there are topics like I think you think it was personal to me, but I I do feel compelled to just how you say you want to uplift, you know, men and women to be better. Mm-hmm. I I do feel like it is almost my duty to defend like the little person. Okay. And I feel like when you were coming at me, like it it could have been another girl, whether you believe it or not, I would have I would have had their back. I would have. I can believe that. You know, like, and I, I just don't like when people belittle other people. And that's what I felt like you were trying to do. And that's the point that I was trying okay. to get across. And I'm sorry if I kept bringing it up and it like it was. Um, Are you personal. ready to yeah. reset? I am ready to reset. Okay. We'll shake on it. And we got this on video, too. So <laughs> starting now. But do you remember? Okay. Yeah, starting now, we okay. have a, an Fine. actual reset. Um. My name is Marquette, by the way. Marquette. Is that your yeah, real name? Marquette. That Marquette. is my government name, yes. Anissa. Marquette. Nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. For sure. Absolutely. Greetings. Yeah, indeed. We just uh, Might have turned a new leaf. Yeah, yeah, no, this is brand new. It's, uh, it's never seen you before in my life. Um, fantastic. I got all my questions uh, covered. You got all yours covered? Um, would you date a girl like me? I don't know anything about you, ma'am. I just okay. met you. I literally just met you. This is very awkward. Okay, I let me know who you just think is you. in love can with you, who. Can you tell because me? Because I think Marquette's kind of in love with me. Would you mind telling me something like, about yourself? Minorly. Can you tell me some things about yourself so I can figure out if I would date a woman like you? Um, let's see. I think I'm compassionate. I think I'm loving. I think I'm, um, I like to learn. I enjoy oh, serving good. my man. I can be, you know, submissive. Wow. Okay. Um, I do think I can be a little combative. You know, I'm emotional, I'm okay. compassionate, and there's, you know, good and bad that comes with that. Mm-hmm. Um, 
I think my intentions overall are good, but I am okay. human, and I understand that there are things that I need to work on. Okay. That was a really good pitch, by the way. That's Thank actually you. very good. You tell me a little about yourself, May I ask you Mark one Quay? question yes. before I tell you about myself? you may. Um, can you follow directions? It depends if it depends who is giving me directions. If it is a man that I trust, okay. if and I don't think I like directions. If you want to put it, would I follow a man's lead that I trust? Yes, I would. Okay. It sounds kind of like orders, and I wouldn't want that to be the case. But would I? I would want my man to lead, and I think I I can be a good follower. I don't, I don't like the word follower. I think you I can don't be like submissive. The word follower. To my man, yes. Okay. All right. Tell me a little about yourself. <laughs> I was I don't know what's so funny right now. You're the one giggling. No, nah, I was I was just kinda I was just kinda tripping on that part. Seemed like you um don't really feel so good about following your man. Following I don't like following directions. I mean I it sounds kind of it sounds a little just like demeaning, degrading, like, you know, following directions in the bedroom, that, that's one thing. But like, hey, bitch, go fucking get me this, this, and this. But if, I'm on, if my man's like, you know, hey, babe, you know, can you get this done? Can you do this? Like, okay, so say, for yes. example, right now I say, hey, I'm, I'm hungry. Um, would you mind driving, find a restaurant, and bring us back some food? Yes. Would you going to go do it? I could do that, yes. Okay, cool. Wasn't I so nice and I asked you? If you ate before I came here? I didn't know why you were asking that. Were you yeah. about to bring me some food? Bring, I was going to bring you food, yes. What were you going to bring me? We were at we were at the Sahara, so okay. whatever was there. Oh, I didn't realize. It was yeah. very considerate of you. Yeah, it was Thank very you. considerate of me, yes. It is considerate. Okay, uh, about myself. What do you want to know? Nothing specific. Just give me the same spiel oh. you know, that I gave you. I usually don't. Uh, I try not to give the spiel um, in as much as... The words don't really mean much, but uh, in brief, I'm very straightforward. Mm -hmm. And if I say something, you can take it to the bank. Mm -hmm. And the focus of my life is happiness. So how can I maximize my happiness, help others find happiness for themselves? That's enduring. Mm -hmm. My goal is to build a strong, powerful family that can spread goodness. Mm -hmm. And... Are you dating to marry? What are your intentions? You know, when just you showing you my dick wet. I was just playing. No, I was just play. <laughs> I can't. I guess. Uh, I guess I like to joke. Should I throw that in there? <laughs> um, yes, I am dating to marry. Dating to marry. Are you dating monogamously to marry? Why are you all in my business? <laughs> like, damn, you really in my? Are we caught up? No. Okay, okay you ahead. didn't answer the question, though. Shout out to Mr. Who writes, <laughs> just going, oh, okay. Oh, you can feel it, huh? We caught up? Um, and then Randy's <laughs> cash up question came in. Randy, I am behind camera. I am not answering any questions, but thank you for the Are support. they asking you questions now? Yes. It's getting like that. Okay, go ahead. Fantastic. So we're caught up? Fantastic. Saints, has been a truly a pleasure of this time to fellowship with you all. Uh, before we get out of here, are there any closing words that you would like to share with the people? Um, keep an open mind, you know, don't let the internet, you know, turn your brain to mush. Mm. 304s are people too. And hey, you don't have to marry them. You don't have to wife them. You don't have to have kids with them. But you know, I think everyone deserves respect. Mm. Okay. Peace to the saints. <laughs> What's going on? What's up, Jabrizi? <laughs> What? Uh, uh, Who needs to learn how to do it? <laughs> Shout out to Josh. What's he saying? You guys can set up wherever you want. Shout out to Josh. He writes, would you date a woman like me? Almost implied we are talking about what we know you for on the surface, which is OF. Okay. Really respectful to redirect her to talk about it herself as a human. Talk about herself as a human. Ah, I see. Okay. What do you think of that? Isn't he a saint? <laughs> Isn't he a saint? Are, are you trolling right now? No, you're a saint. Okay, all right, got okay, you. Okay, and then Jay came in on Cash App and said, comment in the chat, I don't see it, you can send it to the email. Okay, Jay, we're going to give you a little bit of time. 
But yeah, you yeah. didn't answer the question. I mean, so from knowing what you know now, and I do do OnlyFans, and I'm a cocktail server, you know, we're okay. meeting for the first time. Okay. So, yeah. All right. And what you're, you're asking, would, would you I date, date you? a woman like me? I'd probably want to get more, get to know you more. Mm-hmm. I'm suspicious. Yeah. But I want to get to know you more, and I appreciate that you told me everything up front. Yeah. I like that. Okay. So me having an OnlyFans wouldn't completely, you know, remove me or disregard me from, from dating? dating? No, I mean, you presented yourself reasonably well. Wow. I'm super suspicious, Can for you sure. see? Okay. Can you see that, chat? There you go. <laughs> 304s, they're not all terrible people. No, I wouldn't say that much. I ain't going to go that far. <laughs> so no, you, I said you, not all. Okay, you, consider, so, sure. you consider yourself a 304? No. I don't think I'm a 304. No. Okay, so you don't think you're a 304. No. Okay. All right, but I do enough. think some people probably think, like, if you're on OnlyFans, you're automatically a 304. So I was for just sure. Yeah, for summarizing sure. Yeah, summarizing that. Yeah, I've heard so, that. You know, okay. Just to summarize it. Fantastic. Did we meet before? Is your name Mark? Did we meet before? Mark? No. Paul. Paul. No, uh, Jabrizi speaks, uh, tells me a lot it's about so you. Rude. Paul, yes, got me. Paul, Paul, are all uh, OnlyFans <laughs> right here? Paul, like, I didn't sign up for this shit. <laughs> Paul, are all girls on OnlyFans 304s? <laughs> <don't know. laughs> yeah, Paul is like, opinion. yeah. <laughs> okay, set, settled, settled. We've settled the gridlock. We've taken a vote. Uh, Paul says, yes, it, it's settled. All done. We're all caught up now. I'm waiting on Jay's email. But okay, we're going to give Jay a little bit of time. Then we're out of here. Jay, uh, send your email, and then we're out of here. Are we saying bye? Yeah, we're going to. Jay had a oh, okay. last thing to, to send there. And I'm hungry. I need to eat. Yeah. It's all love, guys. He said. She says she doesn't like to belittle people, yet called the chat incels. Because they're being mean to me. I think it's okay to throw, I don't like to belittle people, but I mean, if someone's going to like bite me, I'm going to bite back, obviously, you know? I'm not going to uh-huh. just like, I have a backbone a little bit. Okay. I think, you know, and I think a lot of women are like tough and hard because people have been mean to them. I agree. I will, I will yeah, say that. Sure. You know what I mean? So it's like, yeah, I if, if this chat was... You know, supportive, and maybe they they do. That really will care never happen they, yeah, in the history happen, of the internet. No, I'm just that giving an example. Happen, yeah. If the chat was like, "Hey, you know, like mm-hmm. she could change her life around," you know, like there are some positive. Do you want to change her. your life around? I don't think I'm on a bad path. Okay, right. Because you, but you did just say that, so that's okay. But I'm saying to them, yeah, like to them, if they yeah, think yeah. like I could change right. my life around, you know? yeah. And if they were more positive, like I wouldn't be as aggressive towards them. 